perfect. All right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just uh, well, based uh, that the other guys went shopping uh, last time and that we got some pretty good amount of gold. Uh, I would just like to know if it is possible for you know, can I break try actively have Wendling browse or buy something? Yeah, sure. This will be okay. like, like you said, so yeah, she, Cool. She basically would just. Um, I don't know if we if we had saw like any clothing stores or anything like that, but if we did, uh, she would just look for something like uh, something really ornate. Uh, I don't know, like a, a shawl or something like that, or like a, a robe. Okay. And she would just be interested in something like that, yeah. Yeah, I have uh, plenty of different types of clothing. Uh, is there any particular color or your space here? Oh, I don't know. I remember my mom, she used to have a pretty green robe. Do you have anything along those lines? Hmm. Uh, I have this nice emerald color. Well, that's okay. Nice. Well, it seems pretty. How, how much is it? Ah, da -da -da. Five gold. <laughs> Five gold? Five gold. Okay then, sure I'll take it. All right, thank you very much. Excellent, and that is the extent of her purchase of her fine spree. All right. Uh, so after you're <laughs> done your purchase, you hear a commotion going on out by the front, and you go out and you see Luth throw a head up onto the balcony, and everybody just says like "run," and then they start bolting, and you kind of just follow them. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Only Luth and Roland runs. Oh. No. <laughs> No, run, just run. run, run, run! <laughs> Man, that's where we sure. uh, kind of left off. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> so, the party is making their way to uh, Cahill, basically, to investigate some stuff. Uh, it takes you a good few hours to travel, and eventually... And we cannot get lost on the way? <laughs> yeah, sure. it's a road. Like <laughs> Okay. So uh, you see it as it is here now, basically. Um, everybody should be on have the map. I seen this town before? Uh, you have not been there yet, no. I think I saw it on the upload. Yeah, you probably did. Th this is like the party was here before. So. Yeah, I remember something vaguely about this place. Yeah, this is where uh, you had to basically fend it off from bandits. And the right. woman, Lisa, kind of just um, took you guys in and like let you guys stay at her house for a while. <clears throat> so as you come in, the, the town seems like relatively quiet for the most part. And like there's not a whole lot of activity. You see the fishermen kind of like up in the north area by the lake. Uh, just like mending some nets and stuff like that. I woke up to Lisa's house. Alright. Uh, for everybody else, Reagan walks up to this house right here. Hmm. We'll play knock. Knock, knock, knock. No response. Uh. Hello? Lisa? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Uh. From behind you, you hear a, a female's voice going, Yes? Why are you cut it? Uh, do you not hear me? No. Okay, from behind you, you hear a female's voice just go, Yes? Hello? I spin around grandly. <laughs> Alright, um, everybody else sees a, uh, like a fair looking woman, um, blonde hair, she's just kind of like carrying like a bread basket. Some said bread. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, um, you, right? What, uh, what can I help you with? We're just here investigating a certain matter. These are my associates. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hi. Have you happened to see any demon uh, babies? Uh, she kind of looks at you quizzically, like, what? 
I do not think the town would be in this kind of state if a demon had appeared from one of them. So let's <laughs> well, change if I the seen the things I've seen, then you know. No, 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 no. A demon baby the too. <laughs> These are townspeople. So we came here, coming here to investigate some weird things that are going on around. Uh, in London Guard, for example, some very strange thing occurred. Um, uh, I believe old uh, Ricky s said something about some kind of, uh, I don't know, something, but he was probably drunk at the time. Well, and we can't really... And what was that? Oh, talking about uh, some person with uh, going around pregnant. And, well, me specifically. And, uh... You! The next day, he said I was fine, but I don't remember being pregnant. <clears throat> no, I was thinking, like... <laughs> like, how should I ask these villagers, like... <laughs> What, they had sex recently? <laughs> she like, kind of like, <laughs> like, turns like a little shade of like, rouge. She's just like, no. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> mm. Is there anyone in this town that has suffered some kind of hardship as of late? Would you care to be examined by a physician? I'd rather not. <laughs> I mean, if anybody was having a child here, I would know. I'm the midwife. For most of them. I'll ask again. Has there any been, been suffering or been down on luck as of late here? Uh, not that I know of, no. <laughs> Tired? <laughs> no, uh, Luther's just not, picking his nose. Not that I know of, no. Is there, uh, come in if you would like something to eat. Food? Yeah. <laughs> and she, like, I follow up then. <laughs> yeah, that, that bread looks good. Yeah, and she, uh, like, the, it looks like the bread basket was much fuller and she kind of, like, distributed some, like, around the village, maybe. Uh, you guys go in and, uh, she, like, just sets up a table, some chairs. Uh, it's not, like, enough to sit all of you, but... A fair man. No stands. You uh, have a lovely house. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I sit down and rub my hands together. And she starts, like, kind of, like, you know, pulling apart the bread and stuff and, like, getting some butter and stuff for I you guys. Uh, where's your, uh, where's, where's your other friends? There were more here before, right? Different ones? I honestly have no idea. Like, going to a different realm. <laughs> they just like vanished and ended up with these guys. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so when you think about it, I lost some, but I gained more. So, you know, I win. <laughs> oh, Better thanks, one. Buddy. That's one way to see it. <laughs> Yeah. So, did you hear of any other rumors around here? And also, when exactly was you said to be a, <laughs> did you called out on being pregnant? Uh, maybe a week or so ago? Okay. Have you noticed anything at a place in your home? No. Sorry, uh, probably about three days. Not a week, sorry. That was my bad. Uh, would it be okay if I try and do a check on you in form of magical energies? Mm, uh, you don't need to undress anything. Uh, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with something like that. It's okay, you don't have to worry. You're not gonna, it's not gonna hurt you. She's not gonna hurt you. Uh, <laughs> Some strange things are going around, and we can't be too careful. 
Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm not too comfortable with that. Okay, uh, I will not I, shoot them out of her. I, I put my hand on your shoulder and I just say, is, is there anything, any way we can get you to trust us, just so that we can look into this? Uh... Well... I mean, I suppose you, uh... did... you did, uh... well, Reagan and the others did, uh, help our town out a bit, so... Uh, sure, you can, uh... you can, uh, in inspect me. Okay, Noah looks as Roland. I think we should try and do this check together of any magical residue of any type. Just in case. Okay, no, okay. <laughs> All right, so I, um, uh, get up and walk over to leave. <coughs> and, uh, whisper in his ear that we should, uh, discreetly inspect the premises. Got Gotcha. <laughs> Does Luth uh, notice anything out of place? Uh, do you? Roll perception. Okay. Oh, crap, I my dice. What? <laughs> oh, right, no, this is roll 20. Do you? Yeah. I'm wearing dice. <laughs> well, I was actually gonna ask, like, how we're gonna do the thing with the rolling. But, I guess we will all turn. <laughs> I guess I'm also doing perception. Now I roll high. <laughs> uh, you don't notice anything. Er um, the only thing you really notice in the kitchen is, or in the house, it's like there's food and stuff prepared, but there's like no, like the house looks unnaturally clean. Oh, tell me, Lisa. Yes. Have you been into a cleaning fit lately? Well, I mean. Like keep my house clean. <laughs> I try <laughs> my finger along. No, the nobody's table. really. I mean, I'm a midwife. There's no real uh, need for me at the moment. Nobody is pregnant. I shore my finger. Your home seems a little bit too clean. <laughs> Thank Not you. Not everyone is that you, Reagan. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are doing a uh, check to see if there's anything, like, how are medical you Medical residue or anything like that. Like, magical. just sensing. Like, okay. she's not a magical person, so if there's anything remotely, like, feeling of magical in her or the house, for that matter, mm -hmm. maybe you can we can attune to it in some way. Alright, so, uh, Roland already did their role, I'm assuming. To me, everything but, seems normal over here. Yeah, but, like, I was actually... So what I if we like should do something with advantage or we should like plus something or uh oh, yeah, six sneak brother. If Roland's assisting you, yeah, you get advantage on it. But I'll help you again, Nova, even though everything seems normal to me. <laughs> I'll let you try. <laughs> oh, I didn't roll yet. Wait. Did you hit the submit? Because it popped up in the middle. So with advantage or? Yes, with advantage. Hey. Um, hey. You're getting you're getting something very very faint, but you're not sure where it's coming from. Like faint is like in the house or faint outside. You're not entirely sure. Like you're sensing something, like, but it doesn't seem like hmm. you know it's exactly where it's coming from. There's, there is something here. Not exactly sure where. Can I try to, like, tune closer to it? Uh, like, that's like, get an idea of direction, maybe? <laughs> that's mostly what you can get out of it with that uh, skill check at the moment. Reagan, wasn't the other house weirdly clean, too? You know, where the woman... You know, belly burst open like rah. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. <laughs> if Nova, 
and Reagan, uh, uh, Roland, sorry, stays here longer and tries to attune to it, would, would we be able to, like, do it by spending time, or are you saying it's completely impossible? Uh, it could, you can, like, basically spend, like, a short rest trying to figure out if you can get, like, a more of a pinpoint on it. Uh, no one would like to do that. Yeah? Uh, what's everybody else doing during this, uh, short rest? I'm gonna, like, nod my head to the door and to, uh, loot. Hmm? What, what's up? What's the uh, thing in the house? Why don't we take a stroll in the village just to kind of see, take a look around, see okay. if she sees anything weird. Alright. I suggest Loot and Rig and they should stay close to Wendelin, not on just in case, remember what happened last time with Flip, and me and Noah just check with the magic thing. Alright. Someone uh, asked the, the person who in question of the pregnancy thingy. Got it. <laughs> Luth goes out and begins the investigation. <laughs> I tried slowly walking around the house. Alright. Um, walking around the house you see like other houses, you see uh, the field in the distance, uh, the field looks like it's, like, you know, it's ready for, uh, crop harvesting. Nobody's really out of that right now. Um, nothing around her house, really? Not so much, no. I got, I'm, I'm circling her face. Yep. Well, I mean, you can roll a investigate or perception. 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 Uh, so who's in the house currently? Just Nova and Roland? Uh, I believe so, yes. Correct. And Gwendolyn, where are you going? Um. Oh, I see nothing. You really I, do. <laughs> <laughs> I would think she, she... She's just taking a stroll through town, not really thinking of going anywhere in particular. Okay. Is that a one? Yeah. <laughs> What's that one? <laughs> he goes blind. Oh, is that a butterfly? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Luth, you're going to question the fishermen, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll go talk to them. They're over on the other side of the street. Yeah, like, the house that your, your uh, character is currently to is the fisherman's house, but, like, he's, like, say, up here, like, at his boat kind of thing. Oh, they're up by the boat. Okay, I'll go walk over to them. Yeah. Ahoy! Ahoy! Hey! Yeah, how are you, how are you getting on, mate? <laughs> uh, good, good. Um, who are you, gentlemen? I, oh, my name is Luth. Nice to meet you, Luth. My name is, uh, Ricky. Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Are you married, Ricky? Um, uh, I'm, s I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, uh, are you married? I mean, do, do you have a wife? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's been a long time since I or asked me if I had a, if I was married. <laughs> oh, who was the last one? <laughs> yeah, the first. It, it, was just, it was only you. Oh. That was just, it's just a saying, boy. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> No, 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 I'm, I'm not married. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, my wife has uh, passed on three years now. Oh, well, sorry to hear that. He's, he's an older gentleman, like, he got, like, a, kind of like a gray beard. Just like a little hat, like, salt and pepper hat, kind of, down half over his eyes. You're right. Well, I've come from, a. Uh, the, the magic school, with me and my uh, adventuring crew, they're off on parts of town, and we've been asked to investigate um, strange occurrences in in Cahiral. Have you noticed anything peculiar? Maybe <laughs> women <laughs> becoming very pregnant all of a sudden, or <laughs> other oh, demon I mean, things? I'm sure, I'm sure you're here from the report that I uh, told you, boy, about, uh, uh, well, across the way there, at least, uh, I mean, I had a, I, I, I did have a bit of ale in me, but I had my wits about, I believe. She, uh, she, 
were plenty with child at the time. <laughs> but not no. App apparently not. So I, hmm. I just thought, you know, maybe something was going on. So I uh, sent a report in to old Brendan up there. And Lisa's the only woman who's been pregnant recently. Uh, apparently not at all, but as far as I know, yeah. Hmm. Right. Well, thank you, sir. And I flip him a uh, a gold piece. <laughs> it's just like I'm jealous of you. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, boy. Right. Well, <laughs> stay around town. We we may need to talk to you some more. So. Uh, well, I'm going to be going out onto the water soon. Right. When will you be back, then? Um, to the bus for uh, fish. Probably sun sunset. Sunset. All right. Yeah. And, like, he's just, like, finishing up his net at the time now. And he kind of just starts putting it into the boat and just pushing out the dock. And just gives you a wave as he goes on. Right. I, I wave back and then I, uh... Maybe wander off into these other woods to see if I see any small creatures. All right, uh, Gwendolyn, where mm -hmm. exactly are you roaming around town to? Like right, to uh, there's a river, or well, yeah, there's are there rivers on both sides, or are, are these like lakes? Uh, or? the south, the south side mm -hmm. there is the ocean. Up oh. above is a lake. Okay. Um, if I don't see like anything in particular, uh, just while well, taking a quick stroll, mm -hmm. uh, Wendling goes uh, to the shore of the, of the ocean and just uh, kind of sits down and starts just looking at the sunset or the horizon, wherever. All right. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> so Wendling's just standing by the shore. Uh, Luth is just off in the woods. Which woods, Luth? Oh, the one's closer, I see. <laughs> yep. Excuse me. Okay. Does he see any small animals that maybe he could catch? <laughs> make a... Make a perception... Uh, make a survival check. Survival? Yeah. Righty. Because you're looking for tracks and stuff like that, right? In the woods. Well, it would be survival when it comes to something like that. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're not seeing a whole lot. There's just a lot of, like, trees and underbrush and stuff like that. Nate. Mm. Luffy's is awfully uh, close to water. Yep. This is a little uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna turn back to, to Reagan and, and Lisa's house. So. Alright. <laughs> Reagan and Lisa's... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm that's casually left walking him. behind her house, oblivious to what I was doing. Yeah, I'd forgotten. You like completely sneak up on him, like he's like staring off into like <laughs> the water, just like what to do. Ryan, I jump up. <laughs> Spin around, hold my heart. Don't do that. Oh, sorry. So, uh, Ricky. The, the fisherman, not not the fishman, so we don't have to kill him. Uh, he <laughs> said, uh, Ricky, the, the, the fisherman, he's, he's over there. He lives over there. We, uh, anyway, he told me that, um, Lisa, the only one who's been pregnant recently, so. And now she's not. And it probably comes back to me what we're doing. <laughs> All After right. a moment of extreme confusion. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll say this takes like about 20 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, Gwendolyn... Ah, some intense humming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Gwendolyn, uh, what you're doing right now is, I guess, will be considered a short rest. I don't think you took any damage, though, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So, yeah, so we'll say it takes like up to an hour. So if, what's everybody else doing within uh, that time period?
Just guys. helping Nova. Just helping Nova, right? Uh, Reagan, Luth, Gwen Gwendolyn, are you just staying down there for the whole time? Uh, yeah, she's just, uh, she has a flute, so she's just playing the flute for a while and just chilling. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk around and try to find other Taz people. Okay. Uh, and sorry, go ahead. ask them if they've asked any, any strange flying in the sky. Uh, you walk around, which house are you going to first? The next in line. Alright. So, I'm going to say... Okay. Uh, so you make your way there. Knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, somebody kind of comes out. Uh, Hello? Who are you? Hello, my name's Regan. Would you happen to have a moment to talk about demon babies? <laughs> he slowly starts closing the door. He's like, and you hear him like, I put my whisper, foot, like, I put my foot between the, the frame and the door. <laughs> He's like, we don't, we don't know anything about that sort here. <laughs> but your tone implies that you do. I'm afraid I'm rightfully scared of you right now. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling a little, uh, not good about this interaction. Could you please... But we're not talking about me, we're talking about demon babies. Have you seen anything strange flying from the skies? No, no, I haven't. <laughs> please. <laughs> what do you know of your neighbor Lisa's mysterious pregnancy? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. That old fool, Ricky, was probably drunk up to God know how much. He's an old drunk anyways. I mean, she, clearly she's not pregnant, is she? I mean, it's kind of like, at this point, kind of like trying to like, shove your foot out of the way. I, I do a strength check? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what, would it be a save? <laughs> no, no, it's a strength, strength check, check, yeah. He almost like doing it. <laughs> He's like, you don't have to put a lot of pressure. He's like, kind of just like... Like kind of like just trying to push out of the way with like his foot, just like, please, like just, <laughs> just leave me alone. <laughs> well, if you remember anything, please tell me. And by the way, I wouldn't leave town for a while. <laughs> uh oh, oh. Pull, pull my foot from the door. <laughs> it just like <laughs> slams the door shut. Is that like intimidation? And I, I, I whisper to the crack of, of, of the door. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Luth. Uh. The next case is yours. What one? Um, I guess this one. <laughs> okay. The talk's right. over there. This is all while I'm chewing, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Hit it back up for a running start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you know what the strength is going to be here it's going to be us because of you <laughs> <laughs> alright so farmers, we can murder them all what are you guys doing <laughs> Luth just knocks on the door dunk dunk dunk, dunk. yeah alright give me a minute like a kind of like an older gentleman uh, comes to the door uh, <clears throat> what can I help you with? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, my name is Luth. Uh, this is Reagan. We are here from uh, the magic school. Uh, we're here to ask you some questions, please. Uh, he looks a little, a little annoyed. Like he kind of just like interrupts him a little bit, and he's like, "All right, fine. Come on in." And he just oh. locks or locks in. <laughs> and. Uh, he, like, invites you into the house. Alright, so we walk in. We yeah. go inside. <laughs> As you go in, uh, you know, it's humble abode kind of thing, like, average farmer. How tall house. is the roof? Uh, the roof is actually, where you're currently standing, it's about, like, ten feet or so, and there's, like, a, obviously a second story to this house as well. Hmm. Um, 
you go in and uh, there's like a table just there and uh, you see some like a fresh loaf of bread kind of just like off to the side but he goes can I offer you some bread oh. Lisa just dropped it off mm. uh, suspicious bread <laughs> oh I ate already thank you so, alright suit yourself and uh, you see a young lady come down as well down the stairs and uh, a man with her can I like, just... perform an arcana check on the bread? <laughs> sure. We'll say, we'll say there's another 20 minutes left before you guys are done. Your uh, focus. So like, my like hands are like going vigorously over the bread. <laughs> Every, on, everybody on, is giving on. you all kinds of weird looks. <laughs> <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing at all magical. I deem this bread. bread safe for consumption. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, you hear the girl go like, "Who's that?" <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> she just like starts like kind of tearing off the bread and like, you know, like. It's trying to firmly it's me, Reagan. <laughs> Would nobody else actually recognize Reagan? Did he doesn't interact with anybody else after the fight? Uh, uh nobody seemed to uh, be recognizing him right now. No. <laughs> I'll turn to uh remember me. <laughs> uh so well they're like um not particularly. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Reagan, I saved your village a while back from bandits. They're like Oh oh yeah, that was you. I forgot. <laughs> well, I mean, I never got a good look at you. And I know uh, I'm not as memorable as my bird friend. They're kind of just like sat oh, around at the table now, like eating uh, jam, like jammed bread. Did he die? I like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're at much worse pace than death. <laughs> uh, I, I guess. Yeah, sure. I've seen things, man. I've seen things. <laughs> Uh, the young, Hello, the I, young man I am and, uh, The young man and woman just say, "It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, we're just going to go out to the outside for a bit." And they kind of just like step out, like. But looks at try to intercept them. Sorry, say that again. Luth wants to intercept them from going outside. <laughs> like, hello, I, I am Luth. Who are you? Hello. <laughs> Um, hello. Intercept them? <laughs> yep. Yeah, like, block the door, I guess. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My name is, uh, Natalie, and then the uh, man goes, uh, I'm her husband, uh, Damien. Damien. Have you happened oh, to see you two are, are married? Strange. Well, no. Uh, well, yeah, yes, we're married, but no, we haven't saw anything strange. Mm. Do you have any children? Not yet. Dude. Mm. <laughs> um. What do we do, Reagan? <laughs> <laughs> um. It, it was nice to meet you, really, and they kind of like. Just like try to like, kind of like get out the door. <laughs> oh, I, okay, bye. I blocked their path. <laughs> <laughs> the old farmer's just like, "What are you doing? Are we not allowed out of our house? What's going on?" Not well, until we're done sir, with this. Sir, please allow us to explain. We're here to um <laughs> investigate some some strange occurrences. In this town that have occurred recently, <laughs> um, have you noticed any persons showing signs of uh, very recently becoming pregnant, or of maybe strange creatures hanging around town? I mean, <laughs> apart apart from us, flying through the skies, weird noises in the night. Hey. No, we haven't heard anything. 
What are you going on about? And, uh... Well, uh, Ricky, the fisherman, he said he saw Lisa be very pregnant a few days ago. And, and now, she, she's, uh, not. <laughs> okay, um, at this point, we're going to Nova and Roland. Uh, you guys are, like, very thoroughly trying to investigate. So, uh, can I have you, I'll say both of you roll uh, Archon checks with advantage because you're kind of like helping each other try and sense and you've like okay. taken a full hour of trying to really get this <laughs> <in the> path <laughs> for better Archon checks <laughs> oh, 16 was my best Roland save us all <laughs> really that's 14 so uh, times 3 <laughs> You know, uh, we're spending so much time here. You do notice some uh, faint, like magical aura still around you. Also, some away from you. Like you're sensing more multiple aura, magical auras now. But you're still not exactly sure where it's coming from. Like, is it? Where is it? Is it from, like, locations in another house-ish, or uh, it's talking bigger? It's, it seems like there's something, like, semi-close to you, but you're not exactly sure how close. But you know it's at least within, like, I'll say... Uh, at least there's something within at least 50 feet, and something at least within 50 to 100 feet. You're just not exactly sure... Like where within? It's just something stronger than something else. <laughs> oh my god! It is the bread. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luther, are you like still trying to block the door, or is it all just Reagan now? Oh uh, yeah, I figured that we're kind of, you know, shoulder to shoulder in front of it. All right. <laughs> and so we're just asking. Them a few questions, you know. <laughs> Good cut back up. Yeah. I've. Right. Right, so nothing suspicious, no strange birds in the air, no terrifying sights of blood. No. Dad. No. And the man is just kind of like looking at you and. He can't, he can't <laughs> Do I get just, a sense if he's lying? He just, <laughs> uh, can you do an inside check? Sure. <laughs> as, as he's like kind of like walking toward you to kind of just be like, roll, roll the get out of our way. So, yeah, normal roll or? Well, this isn't really something you can assist with. You can also try to insight check. It's not really like, hey, he's totally lying or something. Like, you know, like, it's a hard thing to. <laughs> Alright. And I'm gonna roll. Mm hmm. Let me just get to my mouse. Yep. I thought you got the bad rolls out of the way. Well, I got oh God, the I one out. One. <laughs> well, I let you learn combat. Alright, so. <laughs> As, I as, you, as best you can tell, these people just seem like they want you out of their way. <laughs> right. I turn to Reagan and say, I think they're clean. Sh should we go back to Lisa's, or...? I... squint at them and just let them pass and... tear up a piece of bread and eat it. <laughs> What's it taste like? Bread. <laughs> Whole it, grain. It does taste like bread. <laughs> <laughs> Please, get out of my house now. <laughs> right. I, I flip him a gold coin and say, Sorry for your trouble. Uh, don't leave town. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Wait, my friend said. <laughs> you guys, like, single-handedly come in and, like, threaten an entire village. <laughs> I, I, take, I take two fingers, like, point at my eyes, and, like, point one finger at him. Alright. Uh, as you guys <laughs> leave, can I do... <laughs> Where are you going to now, actually, right now? 
Across Ruth wants to go back to Lisa. <laughs> Even more houses. <laughs> so, uh, as you um, kind of, as you uh, going across the way, uh, Luth make a, well, both of you make a perception check, sorry. Uh-oh. Perception. <laughs> Just to throw you guys off. Persuasion, performance, perception. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Are you ready for this fail? Mm-hmm. You're saying that, hoping it gives you like a nat 20 or something. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Um, <laughs> so both of you noticed that like the young man and woman like kind of just like they as soon as they leave the house they very very rushedly kind of like run almost like half run to the back of the house and the old man is kind of just like looking at the windows at you guys. I looked into Luth's eyes. Yeah. And share knowing moment. What do you want to do? Let's run after them. Got it. Stealthily. Let's run stealthily. after them stealthily. Uh, Luth just and takes a, a quick step and then stops. Then he just... Hmm. Let's check our one hit there... side. Yeah, let's... Are we running no stealth? I, I don't understand, Reagan. <laughs> Alright, so are, are you guys going to stealth around? We're going to go around one side each. Alright. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll go the side. Quindley, what are you doing at the moment? All right. Okay, uh, do I see anyone uh, in the beach or, or do I see anyone of, uh, at all? Alright, as you're kind of just like making, like finishing up doing, like waiting and stuff like that, make a perception check as well. Alright. I'm gonna say with disadvantage. Okay. Because hmm. one, you're looking in the opposite direction of everything. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> sad. You don't see a whole lot now. All right. Then I just uh, imagine I'm going back to the house uh, All right. where we initially came. Yeah. Okay. Uh. All right, as as you go there, um, I don't have it drawn in, but like the burn is kind of blocking your view from Luth and stuff right now. Mm -hmm. so that's kind of, that's kind of wise disadvantage, as well as the cornfield sure. is like relatively high and stuff like that. Okay, uh, Luth, as you and Reagan go around, should make we roll checks. stealth? <laughs> roll stealth checks, both of you. Reagan at disadvantage. Right. Disadvantage. Reagan is, yeah. You're not. Because okay. Reagan's wearing heavy armor. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so you're like crouched low as you can, like making no sound. From like the around right the train. corner of the house, you hear clank, 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 clank. <laughs> <laughs> as you look over, and Reagan's just like, T -t 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 -t. <laughs> like Luke just shakes his head. <sighs> You mees. <laughs> as you as you guys uh, make your way around the corner, you don't see anybody. You just see uh, like the cornfield, like a uh, cellar, the barn with the loft in it. Where did they go? Hmm. Cellar. Do you mean like cellars? They do. I think so. I don't no. remember no of a thermostat. Like dark and scary in the cellars. All right, should we go in? Yeah, let's go in. All right. Uh, before you do, you hear, you see, like the old man kind of like banging on the window, like, "Don't you run around in my crops?" <laughs> <laughs> We're not. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then he like disappears I from the window. Alright, quickly, quickly, before I get more trouble. <laughs> yeah, and like, fling open the door and throw in a firebolt. So you fling open the door. You fling open the door, and you see, like, 
stairs kind of like leading to like a cellar type area. It looks like there's storage down there, and you throw a firebolt. <laughs> They're <laughs> abrupt, and you hear like a scream from inside. Like, yeah, ah! it. <laughs> and then like you hear you hear uh, from like somebody yelling from inside the upper part of the house too. I run down the stairs. <laughs> Come on, Luke. Alright, Luth follows. He gets his uh his new magic axe ready. <laughs> oh you, my God. you run down the stairs and you see like the man kind of like clutching the young girl and he's just like <gasps> and she's like she looks completely like terrified, like sweat dripping off of her and <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? You you what you tell us you're the one that can what Where's the demon? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm throwing fire around, and uh, Tell you, us hear, the now. you see, you, see uh, you well like, hear like someone yelling like help, help, <laughs> like outside, <laughs> and uh, eventually, like you see, uh, like you see a shadow starting to come in from behind the cellar on you. <laughs> Luth flips around, <laughs> getting ready for an attack. <laughs> you see, you see like the old man with like a pitchfork. He's like. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I say put that you down screen. before you hurt yourself. Stay back, this is official Drupal business. <laughs> um, so everybody else, you hear somebody shouting out, help, help. <laughs> I guess in that instance, we would run for it because like, okay, shit is going down for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we just go over there, I guess. <laughs> Running so, direction of help. You see, uh, you see, like the person in the house that Reagan originally interrogated, like head out the window, just like <laughs> looking around. And he, as he sees you guys coming with like armor, and weapon stuff, he just like pops his head back in and slams the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lisa is kind of like running behind you guys, like, <gasps> like, what's going on? <laughs> as everybody is making their way into a cellar that. Uh, you see, as eventually you see, uh, there's a couple of tenants folk kind of just there, and a man standing with a like pitchfork, kind of like down there. He's like, they've got, they've got my girl trapped down there. Who got it? Sorry. Who got they your girl? <laughs> they've got my Who girl got trapped girl? down there. Uh, the uh, Reagan and the uh, Luth. They threw <laughs> fire down there. <laughs> I, <laughs> Noah no, no, no walks over to the entrance. What are you two doing? Nova, come quickly! Obviously there's a demon! Obviously we're chasing demons. You Apparently, demon. the, the, the only demon I hear talk of is you guys. Well, we're not demons. Then tell me, why are these people so terrified? Rolling, can you put out the fire? Because obviously yeah, there's currently a fire happening amongst the like, to us. and stuff. <laughs> Like your fire is starting now. It's starting to spread a bit. Like in the. Does no one see the fire? Yeah, like you can see it clearly. First thing first, get some water and let's turn off this fire because this is no good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I start kicking dirt on the fire. <laughs> the, like, man and stopping it out. The woman are kind of just like, they're like, you know. Cowering on the ground. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the girl is still in the cellar, right? Yeah, they're both still in the cellar. Oh my god. So I is the fire been turned out? Um, well, who's running to uh, get water? <laughs> well, no one would. There. It was only a fireball. Like... <laughs> I got an iron pot to transport water in. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, Reagan, Reagan and Luth are kind of like blocking the entrance right now down to it. And like the man with the pitchfork, he's just like, go, hurry up. And like they're kind of just like standing away and Reagan's just kind of like kicking dirt over a fire that's starting to spread a bit more. You than idiots, go get water. <laughs> uh, but there's a demon, Gwendolyn. No, like, but you're, you're, like you're at the top. The fire, right? It's, Did you you're actually see the demon? over a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually see a demon? Uh, well, currently, Nova, they're the only thing standing in your way to put the fire out. Basically. Okay. Get I out. I got water with me. 
I say that's how I walk up over to let uh, Nova in. <laughs> um, so <laughs> Nova <laughs> splashes water over the thing. Um, can I have you make while well, the man and the woman as, as you like move, as soon as you move they like bolt for the exit. <laughs> like the man kind of like pushing the woman ahead of it. <laughs> I let them go. <laughs> Shame. But I put my finger at them like, don't leave them! As we burn down your home, threaten the damn inhabitants of this town. What are you and thinking? I, I walk We're around. <laughs> Any perception of the cellar? Uh, sure. Well, let's walk in further. All right. I, I tell Regan, Regan, what have you done? These people used to look up to you. You were a hero. Now you're a villain. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who's who's outside right now? By the way, uh, I think all of us. Uh, I think just Nova, Lewis, and, Lewis Lewis and Reagan are inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Gwendolyn well, I... and Roland, like you kind of see, like the man and the woman, they're kind of like up and like talking to the father and stuff. And Lisa goes over to them, and uh, there's another uh, woman there as well. Uh, Reagan, as you're walking around, you kind of look around. You happen to notice just like a bit of like dirt like it's been dragged where they were kind of sat to hmm I follow the drag marks it's like you know like uh, boxes and like uh, sacks and stuff like that kicking around I start poking through the boxes and sacks uh, as you do you kind of notice behind there's like a, like almost like a little spot you can probably crawl into Hmm. Lou, I think I found something. I climb in there. But that's sketchy, Ian. That's really sketchy. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Darkness. So what's, what's inside this place? Uh, do you see all black right now? Yes. All black except for a little square on top of pink horror. Yep. Uh, I'm not seeing... No. So yeah. See town. yeah, you guys oh, are I in see. the cellar right now. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. By the way, the fire is off, yeah? Like, yeah, the fire is off. Like, you splash water over it easily enough. Alright. Good job, Nova. At least it was not my fire. <laughs> 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 Sorry, uh, let me just do this a bit nicer. Uh, polyam reveal, here we go. Like, it's pretty dark inside, but that's what you see. Don't forget, I have dark vision. I thought you were human. You're an elf, aren't you? Yep, I'm half style. Yeah. When the uh, you only human thing. Yes, that's Praise what it is. Praise the sun! <laughs> so, you have dark vision, so you can see a good uh, 60 feet 60 more. Feet. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Nova and Luke also got three, dark vision. Alright, so you can basically... See right around to a corner there. I'm inside. I went, I went in. You went in? Alright. Yeah, I went in. <laughs> uh, Nova and Luke, you see this happen. Okay. I turned no one Nova for direction. What do you see in there? Say, ha! I wasn't wrong. Demon spawn. Stop the girl and the boy. No. <laughs> I'll stop them. Luth runs out. <laughs> no, stop. What? Stop, do, do not chase after me. I think you have scared him enough for now until we have actual proof. You will not touch him. But they run to the secret hiding place, Nova. So, <laughs> when you were young, did you? What is it? Somebody you fancied? What? Okay, Are you asking me about my sex life? <laughs> I don't think this is time for a puberty talk. <laughs> now, in human society, the young like to 
go off where they're alone to do their business. What, what do you mean? Well, either they are, as you would call, allied with the demon spawn, or they went here to have sex. <laughs> oh. Right, so there's probably a demon down there and we have to go kill it, right? Or you're standing in what's left of an uh, ejaculation. Yeah. Ah. What? <laughs> oh my god. Luth resists the urge to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> what's right. going on? What's he? What's he standing at? Uh, did you say they're sitting on the floor? No, no. Uh, he means like basically like a hiding spot for, you know, copulation. Yeah. Sweet. There's a space down here bigger than the house. <laughs> Tell us if you see something, yeah. And, and if it's dangerous, it's get the hell out. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, Reagan, are you going in further? Oh, yeah, I'm going right on in. Alright. Uh, Roland and Gwendoline, what are you guys doing up there? Right. Um, as soon as they went in, I just went to try and talk to uh, to the couple and, and the old guy calmly. Just uh, to tell them, look, well, we're very sorry for what happened. They're not really bad guys. They're just, they're just fucking stupid. But <laughs> we're really sorry about everything. Uh, the woman kind of has tears in her eyes, and the man is just like, like, he's crazy. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I know. As I tell you, they're not really bad people. They're just really dumb sometimes. <laughs> uh, Reagan, are you? Can you make a stealth check with disadvantage if you're trying to stealth in? I forgot. I'm not trying to be stealthy. I'm oh, just yeah. trying to be perceptive. Okay, so you're just like marching on in. <clears throat> oh yeah. Weapon By the way. Would this match the location of like the hundred plus or hundred fifty ish distance? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. All right. So as you're like kind of walking in, you can hear some like kind of disturbing noises, like huh. <laughs> a creepy couple coming sex. Like what? It it's, could be couples having sex. It sounds very wet. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, no, no, no but could be right. <laughs> it seems like the town's like BDSM room. It sounds very wet. <laughs> what do you see in there, Reagan? I don't know because the the GM won't on black. <laughs> 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 so, uh, as you walk in, like, where's my night vision? <laughs> it's only six It's it's magical darkness. You cannot see. Darkness. So here we go. Oh, oh Batman. You see. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, yeah. I heard it was Reagan last time they got <laughs> stabbed from. <laughs> Price that. You see this. It like just goes on a little bit. Uh, it seems, yeah. Just. That's it. <clears throat> what? That's what you see. It just goes on a little bit further. Okay, I'm gonna rotate in a circle, or is that a tunnel? Uh, <coughs> like it's a tunnel, like kind of like leading down. Like you see how it's, there's like little kind of brownish lines. That's like the edges of the tunnel. Like you're kind of you're basically I, I, like I, crawling I, right now. It looks like I it quickly opens like up a little bit down further. Like I quickly run to back right to right here, stick my head out. I'm like, this is totally a demon hole. I run back. <laughs> While you're crawling, right? You're not really running. Alright. <laughs> yeah. One screwing. With my sword in my teeth. <laughs> if, before you... Well, before you get trapped down there, <laughs> let's uh, make sure we are all 
on the s knows what's going on. <laughs> Nova walks up and I can uh, interact with the people outside. All right, Nova, going as Reagan's going deeper, uh, Nova, you go up. up oh yeah, so I, 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 I like give loot to and I go in and help him or something. <clears throat> uh, does Zeus fit in the hole? Yeah, I mean. like like you have to like you kind of have to like get on all fours to crawl, but like you can easily get in there. It's wide enough for kind of like two people to squeeze past, kind of thing. Right? Awkward adventure. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, as uh, Ruth starts going in there as well, uh, Nova goes up. Uh, so, who's out there, vill uh, villager wise? One. Villager wise, it's a man that you haven't met. Uh, the farmer with the pitchfork. Uh, the his son, well, his daughter and his son-in-law, and uh, Lisa, as well as Roland and Gwendolyn. Uh, first, I would like to apologize for their behavior. And second, were you aware there was a tunnel down in your basement? The farmer looks at you. He's kind of just like, "What? What do you mean?" There is a tunnel down there. Roland, Gwendolyn, we might need to help Reagan and Luth down there. We do not know what there is. He, he kind of goes like, well, uh, I just, I heard scurrying and stuff. I just assumed rats. Maybe, did they, is it a rat tunnel? Uh, no, that is definitely not rat. It's too big for that. God, I <laughs> hope not. That's terrifying. All right. Uh, uh, please do do not go down there yet. We are gonna investigate what there is down there. If Case found nothing, then don't worry about it. But uh, the size is not a good sign. All right. So, okay. is yes. everybody else going down as well now? Yeah. I, I no, it's going back up. All right. So if everybody. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just gonna. There you go. Do, do, do. So Roland and Gwendolyn, you're also down there now seeing the tunnel. Okay. Uh, Luth, as you're going along, Reagan, are Reagan. you going to continue forward or wait for Luth? I'm going to go over here. Uh, as you go up here, you don't notice. Do, do, do. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> It's self to surf that you get a bamboo surf. Yeah, but I'll get ambushed then, and then um, Luke can ambush the ambushers. It is. Oh, oh man. Well, oh, comes <laughs> a vampire spawn. <laughs> what are you rolling for, Ian? Uh, Ian. Yeah. <laughs> it is super dark in here, right? Yeah. Uh, it's not super dark in here, like the light coming down is good enough okay. for you to see like a little bit into the tunnel, but you can't see, you can't even see Luth. Okay, uh, so uh, are there like any torches or any, any, any uh, light source that I could use nearby? Uh, not nearby, no. Like you can catch something on fire. Yeah, you, you have torches in your backpack, I believe. Yeah. Uh, uh so, very good. Should, yes. Out of, out of the darkness, so, like you don't even notice it, something bashes you in the head. Uh, you take... Oh god. I scream like a little girl. <laughs> well, let's see if we... <laughs> let's see if we get the chance to scream first. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Reagan. Oh my god. <laughs> you take 33 oh. points of bludgeoning damage, just something like... Two hands slams you in the back of the head. Just, just cave scene your skull. <laughs> oh my god. Eight <laughs> uh, and then it uh, makes a, another attack at you before you get the chance to swivel Ooh. around. Oh no. Uh, Goodbye, Reagan. And roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wait, think you're gonna swing at me again? Yep. Uh, this one, you duck out of the way in time. Uh, now, roll initiative. Remember to click your character icon. Yep. Uh, let me throw up turn order. Ugh! <laughs> Ooh. Hey! Uh, 
11, 3, 14. I have to delete your old ones there. <laughs> there, 11, 3, 14, 18. Uh, so we're just waiting for Roland. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I forgot how to do this. Uh, rolling, rolling, click on, rolling. Click on your character. And then you uh, go into your character sheet and hit initiative. Keep that initiative rolling. There you go. Alright. Uh, and... Fifteen. Oh my god, it's gonna get another round on uh, Reagan. Yep. <laughs> Reagan's dead already. <laughs> Pretty much. So you guys hear ah from like inside the cavern. Uh, go, this go, is, go go go. This is uh, considered difficult terrain because you're crawling, so you're moving at half speed. Up until really? I'll actually oh. draw a okay. freehand line so you guys can see it a bit easier. So uh, how tall is this? Is is the passage or, or the cave or this place? <laughs> Alright, so the passage itself is just look like large enough to crawl through up until the red line and then it like really oh, okay. tapers down a bit and you can stand up freely. Oh, at the red line? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> All right, Gwendolyn, you're up first. Okay, I guess I have to take out a torch since I'm not able to see very well. Yep. And I, well, I guess I try to advance, well, as far as I can, which kind of would be, oh, wait, difficult terrain that uh, lowers my speed, right? Yes. Okay, so, oh my god, Reagan's so far away. <laughs> um, Reaganus. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I try to advance. He is like far. so far. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't even see him right now. Oh my god, he is already dead. <laughs> 5, oh 10, 15. Uh, yeah, so I guess. we'll say 15 here. Yeah. Are you going to try to dash or anything like that, or just normal speed? Um. Mm, not until I know what's going on, so just. Try and move forward as much as I can, but at running speed, I mean just regular speed. Alright, so that's 35 right here. I'll, oh my. I'll give you 35 instead of saying you have to wait at 25. Right. Yeah, because you were back here, right? Behind Roland. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, next up is this thing's. It's going to, uh... Kill Rigan. It misses with an 11. That's it. You see one hand just like swipe down, and another one comes back up around the other side. Uh, I'm still screaming. <laughs> uh, 23 hits, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, you take a 1d6 plus 4. So 7 damage. As the other hand hits India. Um, what's the second wind again? Uh, bonus action. No. What? Did you do minus 17? I must have. There, I fixed it for you. Uh, <laughs> hey, you're not dead! Nova, behind you, you hear. <laughs> And th everything just goes completely dark, except for the torch that Gwendoline is kind of like crawling with. Uh oh. <laughs> so get to people. Oh, don't tell him to stay out there. What? Oh, I, yeah. I said it. Yeah, sorry. I got what you said. Uh, Luth, it's your turn. <laughs> Alright, so I'm in the tunnel. I can only crawl about. Yep. So, so 20. 40 divided by 2, that's 20. Can I dash to go a full 40 feet? Mm. Yeah, your speed is 40, isn't it? So, we'll say, like, 5, 10, 10 uh, 15, 15, 
20, 25, 25 30. 30, 30. Uh, so you can use 60 to get right here, and then from here you have your full movement, so that's 60, uh, 65, uh, 70, 75, if you want to get right up to it, because you can move up to 80, right? As you come so around the, For a dash, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can't really <clears throat> make it out that well, because it's complete darkness for anybody without dark vision. But you can just basically pick out this like. Orcs it, got dark vision. It looks it looks pretty, like it looks like nude and kind of like sinewy muscle and like completely bald, like all over. Mm. But you can't re like it looks kind of gray to you in this dark vision. Right, nothing I've recognized really. No. Yeah. Okay, so I've used my action as a dash. Yep. I've used all my movements. Um. I guess I'll go into a rage and just curse at an orcish for a little bit. Try to get his <laughs> attention. It like turns his head as you come in, like snaps his head around, just like. <laughs> yeah, playtime, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Reagan looks like he's like on his last limb. He's like, oh god. Uh, Reagan, it's your turn. <laughs> I'm going to a uh, second limb. All right. That's a one d ten plus your level, yeah. Hello, five. Uh, so, on the ten. Mm hmm. Five, so we get ten back. Nice. So, let's see, plus ten. Yep. And then I'm going to action surge. Okay. And I'm gonna. Do I have extra attack here or is it all safe? Uh, extra tax level 5, I believe. Okay. Yeah. So... Also, uh, you still have your action after you use your... After bonus. you use your second wind, right? Because second wind is a bonus action. Yeah. Oh, alright. Yeah. By the way, isn't, um... Don't you have a disadvantage when it's complete darkness? Or even with low light? Uh, sorry. Uh, dim with, light. with dim light to hit, I believe, yes, is... Uh, disadvantage. Even with, um, like, dark vision? Yeah, because dim light itself is disadvantage. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, roll again. Yes. Oh, oh man. You're swinging, but it's, it's hard to see. You don't right. quite hit anything. Yep, <laughs> that hits. <laughs> you feel it, like sink into the flesh. Uh, what's the saving throw for your venom? Saving throw? Um, 15, 13. 15. All right. It's good. Oh. Nothing spreads. So it's just your straight up damage. So it takes 12. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sound. It's just kind of like <laughs> that's it. Less than my turn. All right, Roland, your turn. Oh no, wait, Ian. Yeah, he's flying. So there was no disadvantage, was it? Yes, that was true. Oh, so the first one also hits. So did a fourteen hit? Ah, uh, it's too late now. <laughs> Roland, it's your turn. Ed? He was having uh, some trouble. I think he's back yeah, right now. He mentioned, but he seems to be back. Oh, okay, I never saw him. I never saw you him didn't hear the song? I got disconnected my internet. He seems to be back on chat, but not saying anything. He's back both places, so... Just did. Can you hear us? Yeah, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. So it's your turn. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna dash as far as I can. Yeah. Alright, so this will be 5, 10. So 20, 30, uh, 
I'll say you can get like up to Gwendolyn right next to her. Just wiggle your way in next to Gwendolyn as you guys are both trying to rush in. <laughs> Alright. Nova, your turn. Nova tosses a javelin to the cave and then reappears a javelin. <laughs> nah, she can't do that, but. <laughs> you hit Gwendolyn in the hind. <laughs> um, oh. Nova sh shouts in. How? What's going on in there? Are you fighting? Anybody gonna respond? <laughs> Painfully yell more. back. More. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is is there any room in there? <laughs> no response. Apparently. <laughs> I can hear that. The thing is, like, it looks like the cave is completely blocked by the ones in front of Nova, so like, yeah. she doesn't even think that is the point of trying to go in there at the moment. Yeah. Like um, did Gwendolyn have a talk yet? Yes. Yeah. You can see, like you can see Gwendolyn. Like, so for you, it's like considered bright light because you're currently in the dim, I believe, because it's thirty feet, five, ten, fifteen, yeah. twenty, twenty-five. Yeah. How oh, far could it throw? Yeah. So from like around the corner, Reagan, you can kind of see some like light starting to peek in a bit. <clears throat> uh, you're going to do anything for your turn, Nova? Um, I was thinking of moving up to the crate, like where she can still stand up, I guess. Here? Well, uh, for the sake of there. it, I'd say the crate to move. Been pushed out. Yeah. That's just... There you go. Um, Wants to produce flame and then like try and throw it around the two if possible. If not, then not going to do it. And then like f throw it as far as possible in there so like gift light or something. It would be a, have to be a pretty good roll for you not to hit them by tossing right. them. Just because like it's uh, such a tight space and they're like crawling already. It, no, nobody's just going to stand there then. All right. Okay. Uh, Gwendolyn, back up to you. Hey. Okay, now I guess I do try to dash as far as I can. 50, 60. You only have 60 with the dash, right? Uh, I have 40, so it should be 80, right? 60? Alright. Uh, I mean, my speed is 40, so... Yeah, 80 with the dash. So you get to right there. And you can see okay. uh, this thing now. It looks kind of bluish, like its skin. Its eyes are very... Like, there's no pupils to the eyes. They almost seem, like, red. Okay. And it's just like ah, looking at you and his mouth opens and there's like not really any teeth or anything like that. It's just like a maw, basically. Okay. Um, I guess the only thing that I try to do is like not throw the, the torch but just uh, I'll leave it on the ground like a, a little in front of myself. Okay. So that it stays on the ground, like just lighting things up. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, That's it. <laughs> All right. With that, now this thing actually takes a couple more swings at uh, Reagan. Both of these are plus six, so a fifteen oh, and a hits. twenty-three. One hits. One hit. Uh, you get hit for 10 damage. Oh, this thing is just like pounding away at you, like. <laughs> Luth, it's your turn. Kill it! <laughs> right, so standing up, Luth draws out his new magic axe and his new other new hand axe. <laughs> He's right. gonna swing at it. All right. Recklessly. <laughs> uh, so you you have advantage anyways because oh, yeah. it's flanked. Do I get extra advantage? No. <laughs> so Alrighty. I'm just let, I'm just letting you know that before you choose to attack recklessly. Yep. All so right. um. Yes. How. To draw out 
both of those? Is it an action? How does that work? Uh, bonus action because you have the dual wielder feet. Okay. So, so bonus always, action. I'll, yeah. I'll draw out both of my new axes and then I can take two hits? Uh, I believe you have extra attack with your main hand, yes. Yeah. It's weird, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, so I can't <laughs> use a bonus to hit it, but I can do right, left for two hits. Uh, no, no, right, right, left. Right, right, yeah. Oh. Right, right. So just with the magic axe. Yeah. No, no, no. You got two with the main axe and one with the offhand. Yeah, but right. he uses use... bonus action to take out his oh. weapons, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so then it's just. It's just, just two with your main hand, yeah. Okay, dokie. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, advantage. No reckless, but flanking. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't there, um. It's darkness in the. The little pit, right? No, it's, light, cur huh? it's currently uh, dim light, but for you, that's considered bright light. Bright. Okay, yeah, yeah. for dark vision. Okay. 24? 24 hits. <laughs> Yay! I mean, no, it does not. <laughs> so, that's Sweet. with your... <laughs> I love that you call it magic axe. So, yeah. the roll that you hit it with, add one. Okay. So, you actually hit it. So, yeah. This is you so, realizing it hits and swings a bit better than you thought it would. This is a plus one weapon. Oh, yay! Mm hmm. So uh, I'll change that. And it's plus two for rage as well. So it's yep. nine damage? Nine damage total. Alrighty. Add a plus one to that. And go to swing again, I guess, with the same weapon. Yep, so give me one minute. Mm hmm. And by the way, guys, you have to attune to things. Like, Roland, you still have the ring that you bought, and Luth has to attune to this axe. Mm hmm. Uh, to I fully do. understand what it does. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> Same roll. Oh. So, 9 plus 2, 11. Yeah. <laughs> It's looking really worse for wear right now. It's like it's starting to like ooze like kind of blackish blue blood. Regan, it's your turn. And I'm going to So am I at a bandage now? Yes. That hits. Seventeen. Mm-hmm. Just straight up damage. Uh, constitution oh. save throw. Seven? Seven. It looks like it's on its last leg. <laughs> Hits. Mm-hmm. Roll your damage. Yeah. As you slice into it. Your sword just like goes right across, like from its neck, kind of down to its midsection, and just like <coughs> and flops down. <sighs> Very dead. Yeah, I kind of like squat in my knees, like take my two hands, like point at the de demon. See, told you. <laughs> can I hear that? Uh, Gwendoline and Leaf can. <laughs> okay. Unless he like, really comments? yells. What's going on in there? I yell like demons. Still more? <laughs> no, we're not out of combat yet. Well, yeah, you're out of combat right now. And I yelled okay. back up to Nova that the villagers were lying. Um, I crawl. Well, I move forward just to where Reagan and Luth are. Yeah. And I just take take my staff and hit them both on that both on the head, like. You idiot! Things are burning up as you are. You have to scare the people. <laughs> what? Do we roll for damage? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, this is not like trying to do damage. This is like a smack on the head. Yeah, just like a bunk. <laughs> no, I, I didn't hear what he said though. Uh, <laughs> I just take my staff and hit you both on the head, like you know, like a, like a smack. We're scared, peoples. Take whatever you found in there out with you. 
justifiably, you know, because, you know, we found the demons. Which are, like, making it to my hands. <laughs> yep. Lutz picks up the corpse and throws it over his shoulder. I take a quick look around the room. Uh, roll perception. Because, you know, we didn't see if there was more. <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's two crits and two fails. You really don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, it's like it becomes smaller. <laughs> Suddenly I walk into the wall. Uh, Luth, you're a bit more perceptive just naturally. So uh, mm -hmm. you notice like something was kind of hastily dug over in like this area. Luth kind of walks over there, maybe claws at the dirt a little bit. <clears throat> What's uh, going on over here? It's not like very far to dig down. As you like, kind of claw a bit, you see like a green dress, like just some like cloth first. Hmm. Uh, all, all of these plates, like this is all there is, right? Yep. Like this is all you can okay. See. Um. I do take the torch and I just try to like go over the walls, see if, if at any point like there's, uh, I don't know, any holes or anything like that. Yeah, certainly. Roll perception. Okay. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so you're scanning the walls and you don't really see much of anything. Okay. Uh, you see Luth just, like, kind of, like, kick some dirt around, and it just, like, exposes some green cloth. By the way, how does it look like the tunnel were made, like, with, like, claw marks, or was it like a shovel, or...? Yeah, uh, so, you can do an... I, I, I wouldn't even say... Do an, that. I, mean, I wouldn't even say an investigation, like, if you're, like, thinking of that, and you look at it, and you're like, yeah, this was probably dug out with, like, hands or like some kind of claw kind of thing. Um, anyway, Nova's quite believed that the fight is over, so she's gonna try and make her way up. Alright. The gate is very oh. closed. I'm not gonna like open the what's, what's it called door gate? I don't know. Door. That's cellar door. Cellar, yeah. Open the cellar door. You don't hear anything. She knocks a bit harder and yells a bit higher. Nothing. <laughs> okay, now she uses force. Alright, make a strength check. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 13. <laughs> oh, it's like it kind of hurt your shoulder a bit and. It like went, it like visibly shook, but it didn't open. Like, boom. Okay, she so wants to ram it again. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, God, <laughs> damn it, seal tight. Oh, like your shoulders really hurt and you can't. Okay, that, like, that won't hurt oh, her. I can't really do Roll this. for damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Luth, what are um, you going to do with the uh, little. Bit of cloth that you expose. Are you going to do anything else, or what you got there, Leaf? Uh, it's a uh, green. Here, take a look. <laughs> I walk over, start kicking away the dirt. Uh, the explosive. Well, yeah, I pick it up and present it. Well, you go to pick it up, and it's clearly still attached to something. Oh. <laughs> Starts digging some more, like a rabid dog. <laughs> As you start digging, eventually, uh, your hand feels kind of like wet. And you realize, like, it's very, like, bloody. And uh, you kind of, like, uncover the dirt over a corpse of somebody who looks, like, very much like somebody who let you into their house recently, Lisa. And her stomach is completely exposed. And, like, parts of her look just to be eaten. Wait, but... I look at her stomach. If this is Lisa, and we talk to Lisa... Luth is very confused. It's a ten of demons. Let's kill them all. Right, kill them all. Oh. I hit for the exit. Okay, can I? Can we tell that she's uh, 
Well, can, can we tell if she resembles a lot the, the the other Lisa? Yeah, like it's like part of her face is gone, but you can clearly tell like the features look very similar to the Lisa you've met. Okay, and I guess I, I do try and dash out as as out of there as soon as possible. All right, are you no, guys uh, just dragging the body out as well? Yeah, Luke's gonna drag both bodies. All right, unless someone else wants to take one. No, <laughs> you, you got this. You got this. Yeah. You know, you're still rolling. Come over here. Uh, come over here. I need your help. The gate is locked. <laughs> oh, I got it. Going. Well, you guys are making your way there. It's going to take a little while. Uh, Roland, you see yeah. uh, everybody kind of like start crawling out. One of them is hauling like the corpse of this like creature. Like, Luke is hauling behind and uh, right, or sorry, whoever was hauling the creature, sorry. And the other one <laughs> kind of hauling like a like half eaten humanoid, like, looking human, with, like, kind of, like, blondish hair, looks like her, and you kind of just see him, like, dragging these corpses, <laughs> leaving a little trail of blood, <laughs> and eventually everybody just makes it back into the cellar entrance. The gate is quite sturdy. Roland, could you try and weaken it a bit, like, cool it off, and then I'll heat it? That's a good idea. Maybe well, I just smash it with my axe. We actually get I... Uh, I got a better idea. Cut it up, cut it up, and then smash it. Oh well. <laughs> I, I, why don't you let me try and break the wood? I I can do that pretty well usually. Be my guess. <laughs> usually. <laughs> uh, wasn't it like a? It's a wood, wooden gate or a steel gate? Uh, it's like a wooden like hatch. Oh yeah. Like a hatch. Okay. Like yeah, I'm just gonna try and. Uh, I don't know. It's a cellar, so I guess it's like an upwards punch. She's just, just gonna try and do like a pretty strong punch at it and try to break it somehow. Yep. Okay. I see where this is going. Come here. All so, right. an, arm, an arm strike, I guess. Or. Yep. So, strength okay. check. Or, sorry. Oh, strength check. Uh, it would be. Technically, you can use dexterity, yes. Because yeah. monks are allowed to do that. So, it's about hitting yep. it swiftly. Focus punch. 15. You. Yep. You, uh, like, test it out a bit, and then you kind of, like, smack it on the hinge, and one of the hinges pops open, like, Pfft. And, There uh, we go. Like, it's, like, the hinge is detached, but, like, the door itself is still closed. Like, all you gotta do is really, like, push uh, it. but I mean, we, we, if the hinge is detached, we can just, like, yep. push, uh, push the door, basically. Yes. Or okay. Luke, you, uh, Luke, you just have to, pu to, to push the door, uh, it's already hinged. Right, back up, clear me the room, and it's <laughs> gonna make... get maybe a five, ten oh, feet no, running start at it. Good. You see, guys, you don't have to make a mess of everything. And Luth is gonna get down into a three point stance. <laughs> 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 Alright. <laughs> and he's gonna charge at the door. I spoke one, please, you. one, please. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I rolling? <clears throat> strength. Uh, <laughs> sure, strength check. Acrobatics right, or this. athletics, whatever you want to go with, I guess. I have to roll strength. Straight up. Yeah, yeah. strength, sorry. Strength check. Yeah. God. <laughs> so, mid. Oh! oh. Luth! Doesn't really seem like he's gonna put all the force into it, but he just runs into up to it and like it's uh, it just like kind of flops open, like still at like the both of the doors are still attached to each other, but you like the hinges were off. completely sorry, the hinges were Glided. completely already uh, tore open from uh, Gwendoline and just like like it just like flops open as Luke's just kind of like Wah. oh that. <laughs> 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 Nova quickly looks at the the two bodies we have. Yep. Does the demon looks like an imp, like in the book? Uh, no. What does it look like? Nothing you've seen. Well, you can roll a insight or insider history. I'll say. I'll do history then. History. My yeah. strongest. All right. We'll say history. Sure. Why not? Uh, you've definitely seen something similar to it in the book, 
Uh, it's basically like a shape changing type fiend that you've seen before. Uh, it it uh, mimics other things. Oh no. It's a shape changer. A wolf. <laughs> and, uh. Anyway, Nova. If Luffy's going up, Nova takes the, the woman body. Mm hmm. And drags with her. Alright. Yeah, la Luffy's last instruction was to kill everyone, so he's getting his great axe ready, heading towards the front of the house. Okay, I can't hear him anymore. Can't hear him anymore. Hello, though. Like, I hear you guys, but like it's like really like, in and out. That's oh. weird. Okay. Uh, is it your headphones, I wonder? I can hear you now, fine. Oh. Okay. But from what I gathered, Luth, uh, Luth, uh, Nova was trying to identify the creature. Yeah. Yes. Nova identified it as like a shape changing type creature. Oh, look okay. Yeah. That's just lovely. So, Luth is going out with his axes at the ready to kill everybody. Yep. Luth! Please don't just kill everybody. You, you can kill uh, Linda, uh, what you were called? Lila? L Linda? Uh, Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> right, we start with Lisa, and yeah. I start walking towards Lisa's house. <laughs> I go after him. Yeah, I. I Lisa! <laughs> I'm, I'm, run, I'm trying to run like close to him. Just seeing that he doesn't do anything to Grace. Uh, by the way, what is the color of the shape changer's blood? Uh, the blood itself is kind of like a really, really dark blue. Like it's almost uh, black. like ink. Uh, I also yeah. say, Luke, you're allowed to wound anybody if they have blue blood. You can kill them. <laughs> uh, just don't make it a mortal wound. Just like a little prick or something. Right, <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> Luth is not really paying attention. Luth is kind of just like fun. marching through town, saying, Lisa, and, uh... Lisa, where are you? Uh, you see, like, some tense people are kind of just, like, out and, like, kind of, like, curious now, and they see you, like, come through town with your axes at the ready with, uh, Reagan. He looks wounded. <laughs> Pretty wounded. <laughs> walking alongside of you. And who else is going? I, I, I jail out loud. I jail out loud. Everyone, stay in your houses. We're only looking for Lisa. No. Oh, wow. No. Everybody out. Now. <laughs> Nova's dragging the body of Lisa Ooh, with her. <laughs> As people start seeing, like, the body of Lisa and stuff, everybody kind of just, like, like, you they see lots of panic happening. They're kind of, like, running for oh, their houses. Had the demon body with him? Uh, you think you killed that? I don't think I don't think anybody brought the demon body out because Lou said he was just going it with his axes uh, at the ready. Somebody yeah, bring, the, all, like, bring the bring the demon changer. Shape the demon body. <laughs> so right. Nova drops Lisa's body in the middle of the town, and uh, hope Roland comes with the demon. <laughs> yeah, Roland eventually. <laughs> Roland is just like dragging it along, like eh, eh, like. You hear him like struggling to get it up the steps, and ah, <laughs> <laughs> eventually he manages to drag it out. And it's there, and uh, you see this vill villagers. <laughs> this is Lisa. She's dead, as you can see, and she was pregnant while she died, or something close to. This here is a shape shifter. It can take the form of anybody. And it, uh, somebody has the form of Lisa, so it might be another one. I need everyone in the village to come in the line, and we will personally inspect everybody. Anybody who refused is the first. Luth makes a fireman chop into Lisa's front door. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as Luth is like starting to chop at Lisa's door, you hear uh, somebody from one of the houses up here. So, She's in old Baggins house, <laughs> and like they're pointing towards the house you kind of just like came out of. <laughs> Luce is a little getting a little annoyed, so he starts marching back to the other house. <laughs> he Noah, Noah himself an orcish. <laughs> Noah starts pricking everybody like to see their blood. Like, you know, not not something serious, but like take a finger or something. Uh, the people are like, they're very kind of like scared of you right now, like they're not entirely sure 
Well, I'm very intimidating that they just need to follow orders now, or shit's gonna happen. Uh, so roll intimidation check. With advantage. <laughs> Let's see, where is it? I There. I'll go over to Lathe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's not that great, but... And... Over there. Oh my god, <laughs> give a shit. They, <laughs> they like, you hear them like barring doors and stuff. <laughs> I tell uh, Luke to stand back. <sighs> now Luke, Bye. Hey. And Together. I first tell my morning star. Alright. Um, it's not a first tell weapon, but I understand what you're saying. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to um, thunder wave the door. <laughs> What's the point of versatile your <laughs> hammer to thunder? Wow, away? we have become rebels. <laughs> so, <laughs> Luth, did you stand back? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll indulge him for a minute. <clears throat> All right, so we'll say you stayed like ten feet back. Uh, yep. You, uh, what? That's, that's not right. Yeah, what? It is. That is. That's right. Why is he using thunder wave? <laughs> Blast in the door. <laughs> like, oh. like the railings blow off, the door boosh, caves in, blows open. <laughs> and Luke charges in full speed. <laughs> ah! You go get him! Uh, Luth, as you run in, you see, like, some of the people, like, kind of like, they're like, they look terrified. Like, you see, like, the old farmer, he's there with his pitchfork, like, points at you again. He's like, get out, you monster! <laughs> <laughs> it's just like pitchfork, um. like kind of pointed at you. Um, you can see like some like splinters and like stuff of wood just like scattered everywhere. The man is just kind of like standing in front of uh, his wife again, and uh, you see Lisa. She's just kind of like <gasps> like she looks kind of scared. All right, I talk to the the old man. I say, put that down, or I'll cut your fucking head off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Roll of intimidation, Jack. Uh, I come in behind. I come in no! behind. Luke. No, that was me. That was me. Sorry. Oh. Normal roller. Yep. <laughs> All right. Really? After like his like Porsche explosion. Yeah! Normal roll. <laughs> this should be advantage, Ian. I mean, he got um, it either way. It's, yeah, but uh, see, he's like trying to steadfast like protect his family, so like yep. he's not going to back down as easily. Uh, okay. But he does. Like, he he kind of just, like, <laughs> like, just, like, lays it on the ground, and he just, like, kind of, like, stands over by his family, like, <laughs> Bring him outside! No, now I'm gonna just chop right into Lisa, so <laughs> swinging for her head. Alright, uh, do a roll initiative. That's yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So fun. Oh, Said everybody, just the two of them. Uh, everybody can, yeah. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> oh, what did work? Apparently, I'm limping. Yeah, you're injured. Uh, I don't know why it didn't work for me. Should I? Uh, it worked for you. Oh no, sorry, that's rolling. Uh, no, I'll add you to the turn. Yeah, I don't know. That's alright. Okay. All, all it is just like a time saver for me, really. Yeah, so yeah. I don't have oh. to add you and all that. Uh, Roland yeah. and Gwendolyn, you have to roll two d20s. Just straight up d20. Whoever gets higher Under wins. The rule. Under two? the ruler. Two d20s? Yep, or just one d20 each, sorry. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Let me All right. <laughs> so Roland, you are a four point oh. Gwendoline is a fourteen point one five. I said four. I know. I meant fourteen. But didn't he roll fifteen? Uh, nope. I got on fifteen. Oh, why didn't it come up? As a fifteen. Oh God! I was looking at Roland. Yeah, I mean. Sorry. I accidentally rolled once before with two dice, so... 
Oh, okay. No, no. Yeah. Um, Nova, you're the one who's supposed to roll yeah. another d20. Be the eight. Because Bard has a 25. Or, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What? No, 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 no. I mean, I got... Oh, yes, actually. Yeah. Because both you yeah. and Nova. I thought it was... Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. For some reason, sorry. Yep. Uh, I go first then, I guess. Yeah. Yes. You are up first. You hear people screaming from inside the house. <laughs> right. Uh, are the other townspeople right have they gone outside? For the sake of it, oh, I they've run like, away. <laughs> I just want to like use noblemen for the sake of it. I'm, I'm sorry, what? I'm just like using like the noblemen. Oh, okay. Thing for. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. But have the other townspeople gone outside, or are they still in all their homes? Uh, they're in all their homes, like, boarded up. Okay. Um, I just... Okay, for now I go, like, uh, up here, let's say. Like, around here, close to their, to these two houses. Yeah. And I just yell at them, Everyone, please! There are some creatures, are, uh... Amongst you, and we need to figure out who, who, who is, who's really one of these creatures. Some of you may be in danger. We need you to come outside so that we can see how, who, who we need to take care of. Um. Yeah, this will be more persuasion then. <laughs> yeah. Roll at a disadvantage because now they're, they're on guard. Terrified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, a couple people open their doors and kind of look out like what's going to happen <laughs> yeah a couple of them uh, like the two ha the house right here and the uh, house next to the smoke shack please don't be afraid please y you can trust me we're not we're not going to harm you unless uh, unless you're one of these creatures and they kind of just like then we'll cut your fucking head off <laughs> 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 Alright, is that ending your turn? <laughs> um, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Nova, it's your turn now. <laughs> I see that Grindelin apparently is much better at getting decoration of the villages, so... Could, could, you, <clears throat> could you keep an eye out for the villagers, make sure nobody leaves, and if possible, test them. Just a drop of blood. If it's not red, then it's a changer. Alright. Okay. And uh, she runs into the house as well. Alright. Dashing, or...? Well, as far as I can get in there, in the, the way. Uh, 30 brings you right to the door anyways. We'll say that's the door, right? Lisa, or... Sh uh, changeling. Lisa, Lisa is the one in green right here. Right. Lisa, uh, I said Lisa, or... Changeling. The gig is up. We found the real... The rest of you, <laughs> get away from her now. But you are not out of the wood yet. And uh, can I throw the trident? Yeah. Don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can throw your trident. Don't hit me. <laughs> it's a piece of course. It hits. <laughs> Stabs him, Lisa. She's like, ah! <laughs> For six damage? Alright. Uh, hold on. I forgot to do something real quick. Uh oh. Suddenly, seven more appear in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's not what it is. Trust me. I'm the GM. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it hits her. <laughs> it hurts. Is it blue blood? Ah. Uh, it's starting to streak down. It is not red. Uh, also, bonus action. A trident back in hand. Enter. Right. Perfect. Alright, you see that? That is not human. Get the, away uh, from her now. The other ones kind of look bewildered a bit. Um. Uh, and the woman, like, she's just like, <laughs> like, 
what the heck is going on here? Uh, Roland, your turn. You need to get the fuck out of here, man. I'm just gonna go by the door, uh, the main entrance door, and stay there so I can keep an eye between Wendelin and uh, Nova. So if anything happens, I can help Nova or Wendelin. All right. Uh, you do have clear sight of uh, Lisa, and you see blood coming down from her. Like not super clear, but Luth is in the way a little, but not a lot. Then I'll just use chill touch. All right. Roll to hit. That definitely hits. <coughs> As it grabs on. This is more like a cold burn into her shoulder, like, <laughs> She doesn't drop her phone? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Luth, you're up next. Right. I charge forward to Lisa. Three attacks, all reckless. Oh, uh, charge. <laughs> Here or here? Uh, right in front of her. Alright. Shortest path, yeah. Alright. Okay. So that's two with the, the the battle axe and one with the hand axe, right? Yes. Alrighty. Two with your main hand, one with your off hand. Yep. Advantage for reckless. Not raging, so. Uh, Eleven? Yep. Eleven? Oh. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. <sighs> Swings wide. She just like dodges out like ah. All right, hand axe, reckless. Twenty-five. That hits. <laughs> Yay! New hand axe. I love it. Yep. Six <laughs> or nine. <laughs> doo -doo -doo. And that then hurts. <laughs> it like jabs into her shoulder and. Ah. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one? That hits. Yay. Twelve? <laughs> it hits a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's looking pretty rough. Like, she's got, like, various wounds bleeding in her. Like, her eyes are starting to sag a bit. She's like, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, Ending your turn. Yep. It's now Lisa's turn. Lisa takes a couple swings at you. Both plus six. Twenty-two. That hits, yep. Twenty-two and a seventeen. Seventeen hits, yes. Alright. Two, three, plus eight. So. Well, they both get advantage, right? So maybe. Oh, yeah. Is it my reckless? Uh, they hit anyways, and I forgot about it, so I'm not going to worry about right. getting a crit on you. Alrighty. Um, you're obviously not surprised by this. So, 5 plus 8, 13 damage total. 13? Alrighty. Yep. yep. Uh, the farmer then runs behind you and goes to make a, like, while well, Reagan and Nova, you see it, like, he kind of runs behind and just, like, goes to do a two-handed swing at Luth's back. Oh, I thought he dropped his hand, his little yep. pitchfork. He dropped the pitchfork, but he's, like, swinging at you with his hands. Just okay. Like a uh, that hits. Um, hold on, let me. Yeah. It's one Sorry, plus it strength. Yeah. Hits you for ten damage. Ouch! <sighs> Suck a bunch. So this is the old man with the pitchfork. The old man that had the pitchfork. And the other guy is just like, he's just like, ready to like, fight in too, so he makes two swings with each fist. That misses. That one hits. One of them hits you for... Six points of damage. Righty. That did not expect that's not, this. <laughs> that's not <laughs> bomber! <laughs> so, that was this one here. Yep. And this one here. And she's kind of like, back, she's like, Lisa, are you okay? <laughs> she's like, kind of frantically like, oh my god, what's going on? Uh, yep. Reagan, it's your turn. 
Um, I can't have him attacking Lee, so I'm gonna hamstring the farmer with All my right. venom. You have advantage. No, like right here. So I'm gonna keep running if I hit him. Uh, you're so gonna I'm, go I'm trying to like. So you're here. I'm trying to immobilize the farmer. Alright, so you where do you want to stand? Do you want to stand here or where you're to now? I'm just trying to like slash like his, his like behind his leg. Yes, but so do you want to be here? Sure. All right. Roll to attack with advantage. It hits. <laughs> Ten. You slash into his leg. It doesn't quite get the like <coughs> muscle that you thought it would. And you see, like, black blood oozing out of it. And I scream it, they're all demons. And then I swipe at his head with my mace. Alright. With Morning advantage. Sir. Morning, sir, yes. That hits. Alright. Uh, you do have your extra attack as well. Well, it's just waiting for you to make him dead or not. Oh no, it, he's not dead. <laughs> it kind of like hits him in like the head, but it's not like a solid hit like you thought it would be. That hits. <laughs> Ooh, roll your venom damage as well. Um, D four is it? Or D six? Let me look. Long sword of venom. Uh, deals an additional 1d6 dam acid damage if the target fails, save and throw, and it takes that at the beginning of each turn. So, acid. Four? So is that a bit of poison he has in his blade already? Yeah, it's like his uh, weapon is magical itself. So like okay. it kind of just like burns as it cuts, and like they have to pass on a constitution check to uh, be able to... <clears throat> Let's stand it. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, I forgot to Fight. throw this in. Sorry. <laughs> Is that ending your turn? Uh, yeah. Alright. Gwendoline, it's your turn. Back up to you. I could hear that there's, uh, well, there's some fighting on, going on in that house, right? Yeah, and you also heard Reagan shout, they're all demons. Okay. I'm not trusting that completely, so I'm going over to this house and, well, I presume he has, like, a window or something? Uh, well, this is, like, there's, like, a door, say, right here, and there's a person yeah. kind of just, like, standing there. Okay. I, I get close to it, and I put my staff on the ground, and just leave it behind, yep. and I just try to, I just try to calmly approach him and say like, "Look, I, I know this is scary, and I'm, I'm scared as well, to be honest. Uh, but please, you can at least trust me. We just want to make sure that all of you are safe and see if you're in any danger. Can, can you please let me in? At um, least let me, in, or if you don't want to come out, yep. roll a persuasion again. Straight roll. Yeah." He's That's not a disadvantage sorry. here because he succeeded. Woo! Ooh. Woo <laughs> so they're like, yeah, yeah, sure, get it, get it, get it, quick. <laughs> and he kind of just like Thank lets you, you in. And Luke. Closes the door. Look, I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like there are some dangerous creatures here. We, um, my friend says that their blood is blue, so. I know that this may be too much to ask, but can I ask you to pinch your fingers and just see if if your blood is red? Uh, okay, and uh, like you know, he uh, ushers what seems to be his wife, who's already in the kitchen, like holding a knife, kind of just like seeing what happens. He just like ushers her over, and she kind of just is there with the knife. Uh, that's gonna be it for your turn, because mm -hmm. that's like a lot to happen in six yeah. seconds. Don't die, sure. Gwen. <laughs> uh, Nova, it's your turn. <laughs> um, 
I first off know it is a little bit worried about Reagan since he's so low and like um, walking <laughs> badly and whatnot. Yeah. Um, how badly hurt does uh, Linda or how do I create the name again? Lisa. 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 Uh, Lisa, Lisa looks to be. That like... tear me apart, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I need a minute to recover from that. You're tearing me <laughs> apart, Lisa. Um, <laughs> yeah, she looks like she's like pretty wounded, but she looks like she can still like she got a bit of fight left in her. Okay. No way it's gonna move. Can I hit Every over here? You sucker punched me in the head. <laughs> uh, you Do I need to go one more step? You have to go here, yeah. Would Green Flame be able to hit the guy next to Luf? Uh, it's within five feet. Yeah. So... You're like 15. Yeah. No, it's, that's not how it works. Is he, he's right. It leaps from one, one right? to another one. Yeah. Yeah, and you get to choose who it hits. Uh, it wouldn't... I would not say it will hit him because, again, five feet... Oh yeah, but the shoulder to shoulder. It's closer than that. Sure. Shag it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, first I need to do an attack anyway. Alright. Make sure it works. <laughs> Make sure it hits. Oh, that was the wrong weapon. Sorry. Oh yeah, you're doing it with Trident, right? Yeah. <laughs> it <Ooh>. hits! <laughs> Stab. <Okay. sighs> and then I'm gonna do... So it's 10 plus 3, and then it's 4 to the, the guy in the green, or the guy next to him. Next to Luke. Right. He kind of like screams, like, ah! <laughs> and it's 13 on Lisa, right? Yeah. Lisa looks like she's in rough shape. Is that ending your turn? That's the end of my turn. Alright. Roland, you're next. You just saw Gwendolyn go in the house in a door shop. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm just gonna attack Lisa again. Alright. <laughs> okay. Is the music too loud? No. No, no. not for me. Okay. No, no, uh, well, only when you're broadcasting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Chill Touch just, she sees it coming this time and she just moves out of the way as the hand just whoosh, goes to grab. Yeah, I'll turn this then. Alright. Luth, your turn. Right. So. Seeing how everyone wants to play, I'm gonna go into a rage and <laughs> try to make two more swings against Lisa. All right, have at her first chop. Yeah, about let's make it uh, yeah, let's make them reckless for the hell of it. All right. Sixteen. <laughs> Sixteen hits. Righty. So 9 plus 2, 11. Yep. Uh, you hit her, like, square in the neck, and she's like, ah, ah, and, like, the black blood just, like, squirts everywhere. And she, like, just drops. Oh, and Gwendolyn isn't here. And, like, the, the guy, <laughs> the uh, guy, like, next, standing next to you looks, like, shocked, and the woman, like, the wife behind him, uh, I forgot their names already, man. Uh, Natalie and Damon. Yep, Natalie and Damien. Yeah, they look memory. like Damien looks like shocked, and Natalie is just kind of like horrified <laughs> looking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so is that it? That you have one more attack left. Sorry. Yeah. So I'm gonna flip around to the old farmer. Sucker yep. punched me in the back of the head. Yeah. And in Orcish, I'm gonna say to him, "That wasn't very nice," and just bring a my battle axe down on his head. <laughs> Alright. Da, da, da. 
You have advantage. So did Lisa revert back into a demon? Uh, yeah, as she dropped, she turned, like, blue-skinned, like the other things. Cool. Twenty. Twenty hits. <laughs> Yay. Ten total. Ten total. He looks pretty hurt. You're, like, <laughs> slashing at him, and, like, there's, like... The blood starts like arcing down from his chest. He's like, ah. <laughs> Does he have blue bud or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did establish that. All right. Yes. Uh, next is their turn. He takes the one d six poison, which is just one. Uh, and he then turns and just like kind of like back tries to backhand Reagan and then. Try to come back with a fist at you, Luth. So, a 13 plus 6, 19. Hit. That'll hit. Yeah. Yeah. Hits Reagan. Who? Reagan for 6 HP. 6 damage. Then he comes back around at Luth. Mm -hmm. With advantage. Uh, 13 plus 6, 19. Yep. That hits. Hits you for five, halved, because you're raging, rounded up. So, yep. three. Alrighty. Oh, should hit Reagan twice. Oh, shucks. Uh, the other guy just starts swinging at you again, Luth. <clears throat> 17. Does a 17 hit? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what you see. Second swing. Second swing hits as well. First one hits you for six, so three. Three. The next one hits you for nine, so five total. Three, five, eight. Yep. This is just like swinging away. You're like, ah! <laughs> and this is just with their fists or claws or... Their fist, yeah. Yep. They seem a little bit stronger than they kind of make it. Reagan's yeah, than what they would appear. Yeah. I'm going to um, backhand Morningstar his kneecap again. Alright. With advantage. <laughs> to crit. Right. You guys so are lots of crits tonight. I obliterate his knee. Alright. 7 plus 6. <laughs> yeah. So does he does he drop to his knees? He is definitely down to one knee. Like ah or you know, stub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like I I like reach around with my sword and just try to just let us throw it out. Uh oh, what? The acid uh, actually faded after the end of his last <laughs> round, sorry. Alright, so do that with your sword. <laughs> that definitely hits. Eight. No acid spread. Still alive? Oh, yeah. Okay, he's my barely sword, hanging on. on. Since my sword's already like, at his neck, I'm just gonna keep going in the sawing motion. Alright. Like your sword digs in a bit and it's just a little hard to push through the whole way. <laughs> How did you do three attacks with. No, oh, no mind. Morning Star, sorry. Morning Star and two with Venom. Uh, yeah, it like takes the head right off it, and he turns into this grayish, bluish looking thing again. Like the so does the head just drop from my hand? Yeah. Because there's no hair anymore. Like, just like kind of rolls out towards Roland a bit. <laughs> and the woman is just like, Father! <laughs> Does she see that the demon? 
Um, you don't know yet. That ending your turn. Back to Gwendolyn. All right, Gwendolyn. All right, you're there. Yes, the sir. woman is standing in front of you with a dagger, and the man is kind of mm -hmm. there too. Uh, she walks over and she goes, uh, "What do you need me to do?" Just pinch your finger or something. Just, just so we can get a, a little blood. Cut your husband. Just, <laughs> she just like, she just like pokes That's her what? finger and. <laughs> And uh, you see it's like red blood coming out of it. Okay, now can your husband do the same, please? And he just like looks at you and he kind of just like puts his finger and oh, pokes it a little in red blood. Okay, good. He, you're both you're both safe. There's nobody else in here, right? Mm -hmm. No, not here. I mean, our, our child is upstairs hiding, I assume. Okay. Kill him. <laughs> okay, we, we we should do the same for him, just to be sure. All right, and he calls down, uh, and you see like two kids come down, uh, and they both like kind of poke their fingers in both red blood, and that's the end of your turn. Perfect. Yeah, uh, I just told them really quickly. Just mm -hmm. excellent. Just stay in here. I'll make sure you're safe. All right, Nova. Back up to you. Are you trying to kill them? No, we have not established yet if the other guy was attacking Luf. Um, he's not drawn blood yet, so we don't really know. Yeah. But considering with the force that he was hitting Luf, would I mistake, estimate that that was not a normal human? Rolly insight. Damn, I'm bad at that. Hmm. <laughs> No. <laughs> you, have, you have no idea. <laughs> hmm. Kill them all. <laughs> actually, the fact that no, actually does he look aggressive still? Like wants to fight. He's he looks very worried, and he still has like his fist clenched, but he looks like very worried. Uh. Okay. Nova walks over to him, I guess, and say. Underground now. Underground now. All right. Uh, make an intimidation check, I guess. <laughs> oh goody. Oh, much better. <clears throat> he just like. Oh, oh, all right. And he kind of just gets on his knees. I need to check your blood and pinch him or something like. Okay, so just like go to stab him with the uh, very light. light. All right, uh, do an attack. I roll. stab you gently. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, do an attack roll for it. It's nineteen. Nineteen. You go to poke him with it, and he tries to like move out of the way of it, but you manage to just da and like get like a little slice. On his, uh, like just like a little prick, enough to draw some black blood. <sighs> and then she just attacks him again. Alright. Would, um, would I get advantage of the fact that he's on his knees? Uh, I don't say. He's I don't not think prone. You, you won't really get the chance to attack because you try to intimidate him and you try oh, to draw okay. blood from him. Okay, then, never mind. So, yeah. Uh, that's fine, unless, you, that's fine. unless you action surge, then that's the end of your turn. Nah, uh, I keep it. Alright. Roland, your turn. I'm oh, gonna use Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost? So you're gonna like come in here to do it? Like, just so you got yes. a better line yes. of sight on the man? Yes. Alright. It hits. <coughs> <laughs> Six damage. Ah. He's like partially burned and like partially frozen now. Like ah. Uh, Ray Frost has an other effect too, doesn't it? Yeah, it's 
Ray Frost. Okay, your speed is reduced by 10, yeah. Alright. Then in your turn, Roland. Yes. Alright. Luth. He is on his knees. You have advantage if you want to attack him. Yeah, it's got black blood. Oh yeah, Luth doesn't even care about that. He hit him, so he's gonna die. So. <laughs> so right. Luth makes three strikes, all reckless. Oh yeah, well, yeah, we don't need it. I forget. I keep forgetting. All so, right. Yeah. So magic axe, advantage. His Nineteen. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Nine total. Alright. Alright, now First with one. the uh relax and advantage. Oh that definitely hits. <laughs> yep. Seven. Seven. He's looking hurt. <laughs> Alright. Last one with the battle axe. He's starting to bleed out a bit. Uh, he completely dodges this one. Like, <laughs> 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 it's growls and frustration. <laughs> uh, he, he growls back at you and swings away. <laughs> Just gets up off his knee, swinging. That's a 21 to hit. Yep. For 5 damage. Half, because you're raising, so 3. And that is a net 20. Uh -oh. oh, I rolled three by accident, sorry. Uh, so four, four, so you take eight total. Or eight, eight halved, so you take four. That wasn't so bad. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that other attack that happened down under? That was a sneak attack. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Reagan, it's your turn. It was a sneak attack that was a critical hit. <laughs> I'm going to uh, press the Taliban. Alright. And just try to lop its head off. Okay. With advantage. <clears throat> oh, that hits so hard. M crit. <laughs> you guys and your crits. Uh -oh. It's just Reagan, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you also get poison damage. Uh, you're supposed so, to roll another d10. Because you crit. So, 10, 2, two and 4. So, 14. So, 16. 10 Five. plus 2 plus 4. Yep, 16. That's right. Minus 16. And also roll your acid damage. Not the acid damage is increased, it's just one time. Minus one. And he you see the acid start to spread on the skin. It just starts like and into like, it a bit. Stop my blade and like come back up with it. Alright. <sighs> Don't make the second swing. It hits. <laughs> Alright, no extra acid damage. Okay. Uh, minus seven, or seven plus what, four? Oh, something, yeah, eleven. Okay. Uh, don't forget, you can actually click on the word Venom to roll damage for your weapon. I'm versatile, so it'll come up as a... Oh, right. D8. I thought we added that into your character sheet, your versatile version, but we'll do that later. No, we did not. Okay. He's still alive? He is barely alive, but he's alive. <laughs> Gwendoline, back up to you. Unless Ray Thanks. wants to do some his action surge or something. I already used action surge. Alright. Two more swings. <laughs> oh no, action surge, yes, action surge. I used my second one in the action surge. Yeah, you used your action yeah. stretch down below with your extra range. No, he, he was going to use it, but he didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember 
him, I remember him saying he was going to use it, but he didn't use it after. Because he second winded, then he said action surge to do his action, but he forgot it was a bonus action, so he didn't do the action surge. <laughs> yeah. Alright, two more attacks. Right. Ooh. Hits? <laughs> Yeah, this time, oh. you're like slashing and <laughs> takes the head clean off of him this time. And then with my last swing, I'm going to slash this girl's arm. Natalie. Alright. Slash away. Roll attack. Like, I mean, I'm going for non-lethal damage here. Mm-hmm. This is going over life. Ooh. It hits. Roll your acid damage. <laughs> Seven. No, no, this is acid damage. Because you were trying to... You are just kind of trying to like give her a little cuff. Oh, okay, you're doing it with that. a weapon that burns into her. <laughs> Two. Two. She... Screams. And... <laughs> you what? see, she screams, and you see, uh, like, the acid start to burn into her, but not before you see some red blood spill out. What are you doing, Reagan? Oh, oh, you're trying to pin this on me? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Everyone you... else in the room was a demon. Yes, and she did not attack anybody. <laughs> Uh, Gwendoline, this is your turn. Okay, uh, I step outside from the house. Yeah. Uh, just pick up my staff and... Uh, I'll just, um, yell at Roland to ask what's going on there. Right. If he's under control. Everything's under control over here. Everybody here was demons but not little girl. How's everything over there? <laughs> all, all the people in this house are okay. okay. They're not demons. I, I checked their blood. Yeah, they're, okay. they're okay. I'll communicate that to Nova and we should head to the next houses. Alright. Uh, okay. So, you yep. guys head over to the next houses. Uh, well, Luth is still in a rage and he just wants to swing Natalie because he doesn't realize. <laughs> okay. Swing away. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Nova would definitely stop him if she tries to do that. Alright. Alright. Uh, Try to stop me. Level 3. Tackle him on some shit. Alright, make a... <laughs> athletics. Grapple. Athletics or acrobatics? Your choice. 20. 20? <laughs> athletics? Uh, Luth. Are you gonna try and dodge it, or...? Yeah, I'll try to brush it off. Alright. Cause I'm still in a rage for a few more seconds. Okay. You have advantage. Alright. So do I use my athletics? athletics? Yes. On your Alrighty. On a strength check. Oh, I don't think it's athletics is included, is it? In rage. I think it's just strength check and saving throw. Well, oh, let me read. Let me double check. Yeah. Yep, just strength checks. So. Okay. Strength checks and strength saving throw. Alright, so athletics don't count, so it's just straight up roll. Alright, straight athletics? Mm hmm. Or acrobatics, right. whatever you prefer. Athletics. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Stop it, Lou. She is, she is not one of them. Lou doesn't kill. understand you, and he makes a big downward swing with the battle axe. Right. <laughs> roll, roll the hit. Alright. <laughs> I got spell, I got sleep. <laughs> On Lou. Uh. Two of you roll initiative. See who Should we just first. roll a d20? Yeah, no, because one of you has more dexterity than the other. Well, considering right. that I also intervened, that should be enough time. It's not like it's going to be dead easy, just like brush I me suppose. off. I suppose. So I got to select Luth. So all right, he's selected, so initiative. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, Aww. Get that sleep off. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> uh, so roll your sleep. So I get to roll sleep? Yep. I want to use it as a level 3, just to make sure that he's completely, completely fall asleep. Alright. So how does sleep work? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, basically, he has to beat however much HP you have. Okay. 20? Do you have more than 20 HP right now? I have 13. Yeah, so... Nice. His sleep definitely goes off, and... Luth... Um, Nova, you're, like, trying to stop Luth, and he kind of just, like, bats you off, and he raises his axe and... <laughs> falls down on top of the body of, uh... The, uh... Creature. Damien. <laughs> yeah, that was Damien. <laughs> <laughs> no, that uh, sounds relief. You see the acid spread on uh, Natalie more, and she just screams like, ah! "This like starting Reagan, to spread up towards her neck a bit." Reagan, we need to heal her fast <laughs> before you kill her. I um, what? It's your acid. <laughs> we need to save her. My acid did like what? One damage? Two damage? Do you know how much a commoner has in health? <laughs> That's true. Maybe five <laughs> health or something, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I um wait, don't you have healing spells? Me no. I'll tell you if cure light wins. No. He's not a paladin or anything. I got I, I got like wizard spells, not not a uh, divine. He's the same class as you, just a different style. Yeah, I think they use it as a level one. I'm looking at the damage. Um. Uh, do I have. No. Okay. <laughs> For this uh, my healing one. ring. Oh, you use it as a level one? I have 5d8. Look at the numbers. Uh, 2, 5, 5, 5, 3. I have 5d8, how much is it supposed to be at level 3? Two additional d8 for... Oh, well he got me already, yeah. at, with that 20. Yeah, you still got him with the 20. 5d8. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you put me more to sleep. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, Very deep slumber. Uh, Ian? Yes. Um, my bring of healing. Yeah. Is that something I had to attune to? Yes. So I can just like put it on a finger. I'm pretty sure. Let me check your ring of regeneration. Well, attuned to this ring, so yes. <laughs> All right. So I'll give her. But a, a potion kill the poison. Cure poison. Um, in this instance, I'll tell you, you can try a medicine check to try and, like, stop the poison from spreading, but she's not looking good. No one wants to help with that. Alright. Oh, what a Do potion you have cure. medicine skills? A mm -hmm. potion will cure her HP. Uh, Nova's assisting you. You have advantage. Yeah. I have the same low numbers you, so <laughs> it doesn't matter who wrote. <laughs> oh my! It is not horrible. Okay, at all. I'm 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 going to grab her arm and start sucking on the wound. <laughs> Make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> um, you seem intoxicated. Because that was your medicine check. Constitution saving throw. Yep. yep. Okay. Alright, so the poison doesn't spread to you, you managed to fight it off in time, but she succumbs to the injury. And she just convulses underneath you and just... Dies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I pick her up my arms and like, no! What's going on there? I, hear that. I walked inside to the middle of the street, I dropped my knees under my arms. I just, the demons killed the girl. We couldn't save her. Ooh. <laughs> Damn you, demons! 
<laughs> oh god. Deception? <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd say with advantage. Very much. <laughs> no, Nova looks sad down at the girl and then she goes outside. We have more houses to find out. <laughs> Luth lets out a fart. <laughs> As he's asleep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, everybody's kind of, like some people come in like you know they do like the like the whole father son holy ghost thing and like they kind of like mourn for the woman <laughs> but they don't suspect that we brutally you murdered <laughs> <laughs> they don't really suspect really you at all. all but the thing is she wasn't brutally murdered she was a nick with my poison sword yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you cut her with her make it look like a you stabbed a woman and she yeah, died you better make it look like it <laughs> While Luke's sleeping, I'm gonna grab the. I have it in my backpack, and I'm gonna gr to gr make a draw a dig on his face and put him an idiot. I'm coming. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, do, a a sleight of do a sleight of hand. Just to see if you can wake him up while you're doing it. Come on, that one, that one. <laughs> Ian. Yeah? My character's in the middle of the street. Okay. What? With the body. <laughs> Just for uh... Um, do I get a bandage because he's sleeping? Yes, you do. Um, as Nova's going out and going to their houses, I, I just tell her, Nova, please! Snoring <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <laughs> away, Luth notices nothing. <laughs> 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 so, you're going to, my Luke. so you're going to the other houses. Uh, as, as Nova's going to their houses, I tell her, Nova, please wait, let me go to your houses uh, and talk to them. You, you can stay close behind, but let me approach him. At, the, at this point, like some people are like walking it into the street, like their doors aren't closed okay. anymore. I'll let you handle it. Okay. Nova, back in except, except the person that Reagan first interrogated. They're not coming Okay. In. Everyone, please. I, I, I know a girl just died. Some creatures killed him. They're already taken care of, but we need to make sure <laughs> there's still danger. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we need to make sure if there's any danger, so please. We need you to take out a drop of blood from your hand and just see if there's any danger. Uh, so Here, for use my sword. <laughs> Uh, one of them walks over to take your sword, to just like hold it, their hand to it. Oh, Wait, no, this is, I shouldn't, this is, this is dirty old demon blood. The, okay, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> retroactively we'll just say, um, I'm sorry, not retroactively, uh, we'll just say for the sake of, uh... Time. Being, yeah, time. That they just, like, basically prick their fingers and, like, a child and... A uh, couple of children, things like that, but still nobody's coming out of the house down there. Everybody besides that house? Yeah. Okay. By the way, uh, nobody have dragged all the bodies out on the street while Quintilin's uh, figuring around. Alright. I'll help Nova. Are you dragging Luth out onto the street too, or is. <laughs> no, we're just gonna let there. <laughs> you just kind of like roll him off the body. <laughs> yep. So Luth's only asleep for a minute. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. only a minute. I was ten. Down. Yeah, so Luth, you're awake by now, but as like Nova's dragging away bodies. Uh, what? What the hell? <laughs> Nova, what? What happened? We need to have a talk later. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking. No, we were we were killing the demons. You were about to kill a poor innocent woman. No, I was gonna kill a demon. <laughs> no. You should have looked at the blood color first. What? What? What's the blood got to do with it? They all we'll spit out blood when you kill them. <laughs> yes, but you were only supposed to target those with the color of blue or black. <laughs> Anybody with red, you want to keep away from. Luce <laughs> <laughs> just stands up and walks out of the house, rather annoyed. Right. <laughs> and now he sees everything, all the commotion going on. 
and the people are kind of just like stood around the bodies and like some of them like are weeping over Lisa and uh, Natalie. Did they look? Did they notice Lutz's face? Uh, loose face? It's got a yeah. dick drawn on him. <laughs> and I'm an idiot on the forehead. Uh, they're, they're not, like... Paying say, attention. They're not, like, really paying attention, <laughs> yeah. They're pretty, like, upset about what's happening. Uh, mm -hmm. you guys can certainly notice it. <laughs> no, I ask Gwendolyn, did you test everybody? Uh, I did, right? Uh, yeah, except the house... Hey, everyone for the guy in here, yeah. Yeah, except for there. You haven't been in yeah, there. Yeah, everyone except the guy from that house. That's the only one left. Alright, I'll take care of it. No, 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 you, no, no you won't. You stay let put. Me go. Right. You stay here and let me go. Not okay? to mention you're hurt, man. Yeah. Luz looks yes, down and sees that he's fairly cut up now. So. Just, Luz, <sighs> just stay here and if there's any trouble, I'll yell and you can come, but uh, just wait, okay? All right. Luth waits impatiently, tapping his foot. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I, then I guess I go to the door. Yep. And I knock on it and say, Hello, I I know this, this must seem scary. Uh, we just want to help here, and we already know that everyone else in town is safe. We just need to see if you are. So can you please come out or let me in? Uh, roll a persuasion. always dies first. The pond always does first. <laughs> really persuasion check, yeah. There you go. No. <clears throat> oh, sh. Oh. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> and yet, so far. Yeah. Nobody's coming out. Okay. If you're not go gonna come out, then. I'm going to turn down the door, okay? I'm gonna count to five, and I'm going to open the door after that. Could we get some of the other villagers to try and get in contact with him? Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> the other villagers are basically just like, come on out, it's safe, and we can trust them. And he... Eventually, you hear like some shuffling, like, and he opens the door. He looks very. He looks over at Reagan, who's like bloodied, and Luther looks like super bruised, and he's just like, what? <laughs> I, I I know I know they're, they're they're complicated, but please, you can at least try to at least trust me, and we just need you to do something very simple, just to make sure that. There's no problem here, okay? Alright. And, uh, like, one of the villagers kind of just, like, talking into it, and he, like, just gets his finger a little cut, and you can see it's, uh, like, red blood. Oh, great. <laughs> Everything's fine now. I think we got all of them. Alright. Is there anyone else in the head? Is there anybody in the village that is missing? Uh, Ricky's still out on the water. I would also like to ask about clean. the family that lives in a point of the house where he killed a whole bunch. They were quite infested and they're gone. We couldn't find them. They must be somewhere. Uh, which one? You know, oh, the, the, the house we came from. the actual people? Yeah, they replaced people, so they're missing. Yeah. We don't. We don't know where they could be. We need to check everybody's cellar, because down there we found one of these changelings, as I like to call them. And we need to be sure we have rid of it of all evil there is. Okay. So yeah. Nova starts an investigation check, like every house going down the cellar, see if you can see any kind, like draw drag marks, holes, whatever. Okay. Um, as you do this, uh, the people kind of. Like go down, and you there's like multiple bones down in the first cellar you went into, like it's like there's enough bones for like three people kind of thing. Which cellar? What is the original one that you guys went into? Like it wasn't just like Lisa. Just, it wasn't oh, just okay, okay. Down there. It was like a bunch of bodies. You guys only just uncovered the one. Oh, okay, okay, oh. okay. Yeah. 
Anyway, she checks all the cellars to see if there's anything remotely like that. Yeah, so, like, the rest of them, you check completely thoroughly. Like, they all seem like completely normal, fine cellars. Okay. I... Sorry, Grant. Yeah, I asked the villagers if, um, if they want to do something to bury the bodies of the two, the two women that, uh, that, that were murdered. We need the one that uh, had the pregnancy. The, the yeah, other I mean, ones could get a proper barrage, uh, a burial. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, it's getting close to about dusk at this time, and you see Rick kind of like starting to make his way towards the town in his boat. Uh, no one looks at Gwendolyn, like hoping she would take care of it. Oh, I talked to him. <laughs> no, you you stay there, rest. No, I, let, I know let. Rick. He, he likes so, me. So, sorry, I, I I didn't get what you say before. <laughs> no, I was, you know, I was just looking if you wanted to take care of it with him. Oh yeah, sure, I'll do it. Yep, Luth runs off Luth. to talk to Ricky. <laughs> Luth, please. Uh, Luth, no, come here. No. No. <laughs> I run. I run attention. Him. He runs after <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> I run after him, try to outrun him, I guess. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this goes into a dash. <laughs> so, so does Gwendolyn. <laughs> oh my god. You see, like, just like, pulls up his boat. <laughs> you see, he's like, this orc, like, charging him full speed, like, covered in, like, black blood. <laughs> just like... <laughs> Ricky! <laughs> he just turns around and he's like, <gasps> he starts pushing off again. <laughs> Try and get... No, like, no, <laughs> come, come back! We, wait, we found wait, the wait. demons. You were right. Wait, wait, okay. please, please, like, please, uh, <laughs> please pay no attention to him. We just want to talk to you really quickly. Because, uh, what do you mean I was right? The, the demons. We found them. There were, <laughs> there were murderers. There were some murders in on the village. We need to talk. Oh. We need to talk with you real quickly. <laughs> Lou's covered in blood. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. He goes. I knew something was going on. Uh, all right, then let's have at it and over. Okay. Wait. First, we need to do something very quickly. Uh, well, you need to do something very quickly. Can you just uh, pinch your finger and take out a drop of blood? He kind of just like has like a jig in his finger. And he kind of just like stabs it. And he's like ah. Here you go, and it's red blood. Okay, great. Now, we, we should maybe go back to town, you know, just uh, talk to everyone and sort this out. Alright, as you go back in, everybody's, like, you know, people are starting to, uh, like, the children are no longer present. Like, they're, like, you know, being occupied <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, like, people are basically just, like, wrapping up the bodies of the women and they're not really sure what to do with these creatures. When, when the last one comes, uh, Noah starts talking to the old, like the elders or whatever, uh, the grown-ups okay. in the village. Mm -hmm. uh, we will need to take these changeling and Lisa uh, to the academy for further uh, study or uh, study inspection of this. Also, be wary of strangers. I guess you can always tell if it's a changeling by its color of its blood. <sighs> All right. So well, thank you very much. Like um, uh, uh, do you need do you, do you need a place to stay for the night? Well, we, I guess we got two houses that are at least we can stay in. <laughs> we will probably yeah. leave tomorrow. Okay. Very well. Um, all right. So. Uh, do you guys have a wagon or something we could uh, buy or borrow or? Uh we don't know. Um, there might be one in the barn over there, and we can't just point to, like, the barn next to the crop area. No one checks. Yeah, and there's, like, clearly, like, wagons there. Well, okay. one that could fit the bodies. Like, horse-drawn wagons kind of thing. Yep. Easily fits all of them into it. Am I still at Natalie's house? Uh... Well, you're wherever you want to be. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna to loot. I'm gonna check for money and valuable possessions. <laughs> They're naked. The creatures? Didn't no, say they were naked. In the house. 
to check if there's any valuables in the house. <laughs> in the house. <laughs> oh my god! Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let me just look at this house, guys. <laughs> Roll inspection. We need to take them for inspection. Investigation. Yeah. Investigation, we need to take the goods yeah. for inspection. <laughs> Investigation, not inspection, sorry. <laughs> Just kill me, Robin. <laughs> oh. You don't really find a whole lot. Like, the scene kind of, like, turns your stomach a bit as you go in, because it's just, like, blood everywhere. <laughs> like, black blood just, like, sprayed all over the place. It's like, ugh. Well, I guess I'll check tomorrow in the morning before we leave. <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna stay the night here, get a rest, I believe. Yeah, yeah I need a drink. Mm. Before. I think we stay in the relatively clean Lisa's house. Uh, before uh, we go anywhere near bed, Noah wants to start, start crafting on the armor. Alright. So, uh, are you guys going to try to attune to your items as well? That you have. Yeah, he's oh, gonna well. study his new axe a little bit. All right. Uh, so to craft, uh, what did we do before? Because crafting is not something I do a whole it's lot. Strength. Of. It's, I thought it was. I have it down as a tool proficiency and whatnot. Okay. All right. You want me to click the door? Are you, what are you uh, trying to craft first? Just like explain it to me. Well. You had some armor bits, right? Yeah, but exactly what I needed for specific armor. It was the split mail. Or okay. split. Yes, so it was. So, uh, go ahead. And you're proficient with it, so you add your proficiency. Yeah. Well, really? I'm not saying it's going to be finished in one go, but you know, it's going on process. It's only a plus five for you. Plus, I don't know. It just says oh, yeah. pro. Uh, three plus three, so it should be plus six, so fourteen. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, for strength, and you're proficient with it, yeah. So you're you pound it out, and it's like it's uh, a little tough to work with because you haven't really done this a whole lot recently. So you think it might take another like good like. Another good night at it to probably get a full proper split mail. Yeah, you're just working on it, like it's gonna be finished at some point, that's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the two of you, as you're fiddling with your items and stuff, you focus on it, attune to it. Uh, let me just do this. This is Luth's. Luth, you should have it in your inventory now, in your journal area. <gasps> mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Roland. Roland, 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 there. You should have yours. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah, those are the two items that you guys got. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Uh, so this one doesn't have a a command word like the javelin. Uh, you have again like the javelin. You have to make it yourself, because I believe you made it for the javelin. Okay. Oh, so I make up a word. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Luth needs to think about this. Blood. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> All right. As Luth says that, you see like. No, 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 that's me, man. <laughs> oh, that was it. That Sorry. was Nova. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Um. Oh, uh, ice. New thinks ice. All right. As you say it, uh, everybody, you kind of notice that uh, the axe he's holding becomes like gives off kind of like a faint, slight glue blow and glue. Blue glow, sorry, and you see uh, like some like kind of like vapor, like dry ice type stuff, like coming out <coughs> of it. Mm -hmm. 
I say, uh, Nova, come here. And I start walking towards her with the axe. <laughs> what is it? I swing at her. <laughs> Reckless. <Holy> shit. <laughs> Did she get a reaction? Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh, well, I do have my armor on. Yeah, you do. 16? Well, that's no. minus 2, but I have my at a 17 armor class. No, it doesn't. It <laughs> streaks across your armor. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I attack her again. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, she gets up and ready. Yeah. Uh, roll initiative, you guys. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Two of you. <laughs> One. Oh no. Oh my Let's god. See. Oh. <laughs> Just better. Just a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're first, Luth. Alright. Everybody else, are you reacting to Luth attacking Nova? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so another Frost Axe attack. Reckless. What? Alright. <laughs> Uh, Noah is. uses her reaction to do uh, shield. Alright. Uh, that's plus six, right? Shield? Five. Plus five? That only gives you a twenty-two. Oh yeah, I forgot. No I don't have now. my shield right now. Never mind. <laughs> if Yay! you pull oh, your shield, yeah. and it, you see the loose axe kind of hit the bear and then break through and like hit you in the shoulder, like, ah! <laughs> uh, Luth, roll your damage. Well, yeah, I gotta update it. Yeah. So let's see. And Nova, you have to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Yeah. So how do I do that? Do I say it does two damages then? Uh, yes. Like you'll All see right. on the bottom of it, it says like extra damage uh, or something. Yeah, and it does a 1d6. Cold. Yeah. Yep. And nothing extra to that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll update this. I'm pretty sure I'm saving against it. So what? Yes. Yeah, I gotta read what it was. Yeah. Yeah, it's 8 plus your strength plus your proficiency. Yep, so 8, 11. Uh, yeah, only 14. <laughs> Do your damage. <laughs> yep. Oh One second. God. 9 plus 3. So 12 points of damage, Nova. Okay. <laughs> Does she feel cold? As it as it <laughs> hits you, uh, you feel like it's like burns cold, but you're like able to shrug it off a bit. Nova is mad at this point. Yeah. Can I try to stop Lurius? Yeah. Can, can we intervene? Uh, I'm gonna have my turn yeah. first. So he's sure. having his turn first, and you guys roll initiative to see if you beat Luth. Okay. Or Nova. Nova. Yeah. Uh, this calls for for trident. Yep. And and just double swings on him. All right, versatile. Oof. Uh, he attacked recklessly, so you have advantage. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna get. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and also guys. Damage because of um. Yep. It only has it as a. It's a plus two to that then. Actually, yeah. I need to. No, I need to reroll that. I uh, should just be able to hit the trident. That's what no, 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 because it's not versatile there, it's just uh, for one hand. Oh, right, yes. So that would have been the same anyway. Three. So that's a six plus two. Oh no, I crit. Yeah, so three and roll uh, another D. Six. So nine plus your strength, which is three? Eleven? And on my. I get yeah, I guess plus three, yeah. Yeah, so you knock Luth on counters. I think. I have thirteen, he did eleven. Oh, sorry, I thought you had ten. Yeah. Nope. Oh no, but I attack he, again. He did, my uh, extra attack. Yeah. 
Can you say, stop, stop, stop? <laughs> I was just I testing it. I don't give a shit. That. You do not do that to me. <laughs> Swing again. It hits. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure anything you do, he's out anyways. <laughs> Full damage. He's like, stop, stop, stop. You bash him across the head, face, and Luke just falls down. Oh, completely. Well, I got, I got a half work thing. What is it called? I gotta find it. Uh, oh yeah, but I'll, I'll action search. Yes. Yeah, doesn't matter. I'm, I'm gonna get you down. <laughs> so I have um, relentless endurance, so I yeah. can choose to be at one hit point. Yeah, Nova action searches, and she's gonna do two attacks again. As <laughs> Luz almost falls and <laughs> stomps down his foot. Ugh. You got it. Nova it doesn't matter what I hit there. Yeah. He's down. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Nova is convinced that the axe is the problem. Like, he was not like this before. He became weird, like, started attacking everybody. <laughs> so Nova deliberately takes that axe. What do you mean? I've murdered everything we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you yeah. never just attacked like what wasn't necessarily peaceful. Like remember the village with the girls? You didn't just go in there and attack the rest of the girl that came. You stopped. <laughs> this is the first time Nova I've seen you like that, and you attacked her straight up without any warning like that. I said, "Hey, come here." <laughs> I went to some. Uh, so uh, Luth is uh, currently is unconscious. unconscious? Okay. Uh, were you trying to do non-lethal damage? I guess I was trying to knock him out. Yeah, alright, so we won't say you're making death saving throws. Um, but no one will take the axe. Yeah, Luth, you're unconscious for like four hours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's where we're going to What the hell? Night, what the hell just I happened? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He just came up and attacked me. Oh my god. No, but I didn't know him for so long. Is this normal for him? I've not known him that much longer than you. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the, <laughs> the travel over here, that's about it. I thought you were like closer, the, especially in the academy when you were guys playing around and you humiliated them. Don't you think that maybe made them angry? I don't know. I was not necessarily trying to humiliate him. Well, it's not like he needed any help. <laughs> but his behavior seems to have changed since he got the axe. <laughs> Luth is just dreaming of wrestling a bear. <laughs> well, anyways, we need to get dressed, Noba, and I don't know what else you suggest. I need to keep this away from him, but I'm pretty sure he would want to get it. <laughs> no, I was just wondering if you try and melt it down, throw in the leg, or no. bury it. No. <laughs> just hide it for now. He would want it back, and he probably would use violence for it. Especially if it's no, elder no, his... No, but, no, but we can just say that that, I don't know, you buried it or something, no. and we can expect it later and see what happened. What happened? say he just fall asleep after the battle. He doesn't remember everything. Remember, it's loot. <laughs> I, I, I mean, no is scared of, of the of the axe, so we we could, we should maybe inspect it to see if there's any problem with it. And if there is, we we don't return it to him. I agree let, with Wendell. Let's say this axe is evil, and influence his mind. Do you really think just taking it away is going to change that? He would use all force to get at it. <laughs> it is four B one then. Uh, I guess that is correct. <laughs> uh, look, he's just gonna get mad if you throw it away, so... For now, let's just... I would say let's just keep it away from him, you know, until we can see what's going on. This argument, that axe is weak. He, that axe is weak. He was stronger with the other one. And we have the proof he just got defeated today. So he probably will want to change to a better axe. Well... Since you're wearing, uh, I guess, both Brindelin and Roland's green robes, maybe you guys can hide it. Uh, as you can see, that would be impossible for me. I'll try. Sure, why not? Just do not let him get in contact with it. 
I'll make sure he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> hey, has anybody seen Regan? Where is Regan? I'm still kneeling on the ground. Watching this all transpire. Okay. And then I... Um, I try to pick up... Luke. Alright. <laughs> Me? Drag him. Drag him to Lisa's house. By his feet. <laughs> Alright. I'll do like, uh... Uh, when we will do like rounds around the village, just asking people how, how they are and... How they feel. Okay. Um, so for the sake of this, we'll say, uh... This is you guys beginning your long rest, unless you want to do anything else? No. I've, I've just one thing, when I wake up I just want to investigate the house again. Alright. Um, so if you're not doing anything else for, for your long rest, that's where we're going to end it tonight. Okay. Woo! Sounds good. Yeah. That was a nice long session. Three hours. <laughs> yep. Thanks a lot, guys. Nice.